today, well, you guys, first of all, I got to tell you a funny story. I had to call the doctor's office yesterday. I think it was yesterday. <coughs> later in the afternoon. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yesterday in the afternoon. <laughs> you guys got to hear this. I had a couple things going on. My daughter called at the same time. I was making a phone call. And you guys, I got to wait for at least one person to be in here because it's kind of a ridiculous story. And I know I'm barefooted. You guys, please don't look at my feet. If by chance the camera pans down and you happen to look at my feet, please forgive me. You guys, I apologize of the feet, feet stickles. Okay, you guys, who's that? Hello. Hi guys. Hello, hello. All right, hello. so I'm gonna tell you a story and you guys are gonna laugh because y'all are good people and you won't wanna make me feel bad. So this is what happened. You guys, obviously there's different, um, I don't know how to say it. Uh, I talked to you guys, some of you guys, is that Share Bear? Hey, baby girl. Um, so, okay, this is a story of a man named Joey. He was, <laughs> okay, listen, shit, this is embarrassing. Hi, my beautiful Marisa. Mama, you know you're number one. I just put the people in the order that I was thinking about them. Hey, Bar of Soap. Um, okay, so I called the doctor's office. Well, let me just wait. I called the doctor's office, called the pharmacy, called the doctor's office, and then I, my daughter called. So my brain wasn't a thousand percent where it needed to be. <gasps> ben Medicine! Woo! Yes! I haven't seen you. I know you probably look at the bushes. Mm, mm. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Calm down, Yvonne. Damn. So. I was so excited. I haven't seen you in here. Hi, honey. Um, okay, so okay, so I called doctors. This is me standing on my tippy toes, Commander. Like I'm yelling at the top of Joe. What? What? I saw you in the background. I didn't do anything. Joe in the background is going. Good lord. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you. I called doctor, pharmacy doctor. And then my daughter called, so my brain wasn't really thinking what I'm trying to think. I have like 19 things that I'm thinking. I'm like, birthday, birthday name, birthday name, doctor's office. Okay, what? Nate the, the Great. Huh? Nate the Great. Hi, Nate, baby. What's up, Nate? Um, okay, so listen to you, my story. Nate, I'm going to make you ham spread, and I'm sending it to you, bro. Send the drone down, and it's on its way. So I called... And the pharmacy, because the first time they said, no, I don't see anything. Then the doctor said, yeah, I see something. Um, okay, so you guys, this is what happened. They said, birthday, 929. Okay, gave my birthday. And they said, name. Tell me why I said mitten. Tell me why I said mitten. Oh, I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I said mitten, mama. Like, it just flew off my tongue because there is some people that I talk to on here that I talk to in real life. And I was like, even when I talked to some of them, I mean, they call me Mitten. So it doesn't, I like, I talked to Ragin. Ragin calls me Mitten. Um, I, I don't even know if we call each other our real names. I know her real name and she knows my real name. Dude, yes, I did. <laughs> It's not like it's a normal thing, you guys. I had a lot on my brain at the moment. It's like you calling somewhere and saying, my, my name's Commander <laughs> the Turkey. <laughs> Shit, I was so humiliated. I was embarrassed. Uh, no, I didn't. I was started laughing. I said, I'm so sorry. I said, uh, Bell Bell in there too. oh, hey, Bell Bell. Okay, so yeah, that was my story. I had to apologize. She started laughing because I explained to her, oh, I'm sorry, we have a channel. I apologize. It's a nothing stupid thing. And she goes, well, I know you're from Michigan. I go, um, yeah, I know. I know, ma'am. Please don't try to, please don't try to, uh, she was trying to tell me, she was trying to make me feel better is what she was trying to do. She goes, maybe that's what was on your mind. No, ma'am, that's not why. It's that I'm an airheaded scatterbrain, and when I come live, I can't remember that this is called a bowl. Sometimes I'm like, um, uh, the thing, the, that, that thing. And then I remember, my name's Mitten Mama. And I'm like, why did that sound funny? Like it caught me, <clears throat> let's start cooking, you guys. We're doing, um, what happened, Daddy? Oh, I thought it was, Sweet tea for a second. Oh. I just about spit it out. Good lord. So, 
We, if anybody enjoys the Velveeta queso, that is your bump and grind. Go get it. I, I'm not a big fan of Velveeta bump, uh, bump and grind. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Velveeta bump and grind. <laughs> See the shit that I'm talking about? <laughs> I just call it Velveeta bump and grind. I'm not a big fan of Velveeta personally. And I think it's just because I wasn't, not that I wasn't brought up. Okay. Fine, it was so damn expensive I never had it. So now that I could possibly buy it, like at 30 or 40 or 50 and I had my own life, I never bought it. So I don't buy Velveeta, so now the Velveeta flavor tastes... And I don't like cheese. I mean, I, I mean, I will eat cheese. You guys are like, bitch, you eat cheese all the time here. <laughs> I don't really care for cheese that much. I like pepper, I like mozzarella on my pizza, but I'm not a huge fan of cheese. So that's why whenever we're eating something, I'll be like, oh, Joe can have the rest of it. So we went to a restaurant here that had a cheese, it's called a queso dip. Okay. The queso dip here, they top it with brisket. I know it's amazing. They top it with brisket. It's like Lone Star, Lone Star. Chips and cheese type of thing. Yeah. So it's a dipping cheese dip. So we're going to show you the making it and some of you guys probably already know how to make it or you guys don't even need to know how to make it because y'all like Velveeta y'all dice it up and y'all are good this is for the people that don't want to buy the eight dollar Velveeta block then have to buy the the three dollar chips and then all the shit you the Rotel we're gonna give you flour butter let's go it's gonna some in a sense be like a bechamel but it's really like a cheese a dip yeah right dad we're starting a roux <sighs> to make, a, to start a bechamel that Pixie? we use. Pixie? Sorry, keep talking, Daddy. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a bechamel just has nutmeg and an, an onion uh, when, you're, when you're cooking it up. Mm -hmm. Just an onion in there, the whole onion, or a half an onion. And then you strain it all out. Do you want to show the but, garlic butter that you made last time? Yeah. And then this uh, this is garlic butter. Joe showed it with you. Remember, he roasted the garlic. Then from the roasted garlic, he softened the butter. He made a big ball of butter. Because I'm putting butter and garlic in it, I'm choosing to use the garlic butter. Why take regular butter when I'm going to clearly use it for garlic? Okay. So this is garlic butter yeah. in the pan. There's, See, it's regular the hard yeah. butter. So I'm putting this and I'm going to put, if you're going to put two tablespoons of butter or two tablespoons of butter, put two tablespoons of flour. That's a good ratio to start. Yeah. I don't measure. I just throw it in there. So okay? anyway, she's making a roux first and then she's going to basically make a bechamel by adding milk. And Correct. And then a real bechamel has nutmeg and onion in it. We're not going there. We're not going there. Because after we put the milk in, we're... We're uh, making just our cheese sauce. The reason I didn't do this part is because last time my meat was hot. Today my meat, my chicken, I put it in the air uh, pressure cooker for 20, 20 minutes. There were five leg quarters and I put them in the pressure cooker and in 20 minutes they're falling off the bone. Okay. I'm going to just show you from different from it being hot to being cold. I'm actually going to put a little, uh, I'll probably put a little bit of flavor in it like garlic, onion powder to get the chicken that this is just going to go on my this is going just on our um, i'm going to show you just sit tight y'all just sit tight here's my butter here's my flora una flor como that's what i did yesterday when we bought the, the flour didn't i babe i go i go oh we need flour i go como le flo people probably thought i was crazy like bitch are you trying to really step to selena no i'm not but i'm a Somehow we get, became empty nesters and we sing every song. <laughs> we don't know how that happened. We uh, we not sing. We make a lot of tunes. See, guys, I'm just doing this, getting my butter, putting it with my flour. This I'm telling you, when you're going to a holiday get get together, you can either go and spend twenty dollars on your dip, or you can make it at home the night before, put it in your slow cooker, and when you go home to pick it up. You just saved yourself that twenty dollars that you were supposed to buy a twenty dollar gift. Now you don't have to buy the twenty dollar. You can use it on the gift and not on the app. Okay. If it gets a little brown, that's fine. It doesn't matter, you guys. We're gonna just put cheese in it. Everything is. Trust me when I say everything's okay, Mama. Everything is okay. Milk. We made our own milk. 
Did you do roll call, my love? Uh, Get on it. Yes. Come on. If you're going to show them, show them. And we deep fried our own chips, tortilla chips for our uh, chips and cheese. And roll call, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wanted to put the garlic and onion in this, and I forgot because I did my other pan, but it's okay. Well, most everybody's... Share, you want me to just name everybody that yep, again? Yep, just say, hey, Share Bear. Hey, Share Bear. Joe. Joe, so cute. Bad Marissa, XOXO, Bad That's our little baby Amanda. girl, Marissa. Commander. Commander. Ah, Joe even said it, Commander, like I do. He goes, Commander. <laughs> I know the other night we were. Oh, sorry. Uh, share bear. Share bear. Once all of your little, um, once all of your little chunks. Oh, hey, Milltown. Woo woo. Some of you guys I don't see. Like some of you guys I see you guys. When we're in somebody's chat, we see each other. Some of you guys I don't see unless you guys come here. Like, I'm shocked when I see Commander in a chat because she's usually at home, like, knitting a sweater or a scarf for her little peritos or Marissa. Marissa XO is usually at home, like, baking cookies and baking pies for her family. These girls are going to be like, bitch, are you crazy? <laughs> And it's going to get thicker the longer it sits, you guys. It's going to get thicker. I'm going to let you see it get thicker. That You guys, I'm going to add... That's two cloves of garlic. I can add garlic powder, guys. I do not want to add garlic powder. I want to add the garlic. I, if I wanted to at the beginning, you guys, I could have put the butter and put the garlic got it smelling really good because that's what I was supposed to do I just my brain was on two different things but if I tell you that right now you guys are gonna be like wait what what are you telling me to do so I'm adding my garlic now and I'm gonna add some cebolla now can you grab the cheese baby yeah. thank you which, which and basically guys when they tell you to get your rotels there's your Rotel. There's your Rotel right there. Yes, please. Um, thank you. This is your Rotel. Your tomato with peppers. That's it. They don't do anything different. It's just saving you the trouble. It's, I mean, and first of all, this is extra fresh. You guys are literally having fresh, fresh uh, cheese dip. Yet, no, we have not added the cheese yet, guys. We're going to add the cheese in a minute. Right now, you pretty much have a bechamel because it's just a cream sauce with butter. That's it. But we're turning it into a cheesy sauce. Grazie, signore. And we, I was supposed to, I, sh I want, you can use white cheddar. You guys, I showed you that I use my American slices. You guys, I'm telling you. We were trying to decide if we wanted Monterey cheese, Monterey Jack cheese, we grabbed what we grabbed because we need this for um, a two other things that we're going to make with you guys. And then you're just going to keep adding your milk in, you guys, because it's going to it's gonna keep getting thick on you because, one, it's in heat. Oh, my God, that sounds funny. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, what did I say? What do you need more? Yes, por favore. Oh, my God, this smells good. I'm just gonna, I can add onion in here. I'm gonna add some garlic. I don't wanna add any oil, you guys, because it's very, very, very moist right now because it was in the broth. So I actually put the broth. Um, this is my chicken broth that I did in the pressure cooker. I'm not dumping it because guess what? It's gonna be used again for another device. 
Is one of these sodas my daddy? They're all yours, honey. Ay, mi corazoncito. Damn it, that's one too long. You can grab a, a spatula, you guys. Your best bet, let me say that again. Your best bet is to grab one of these because you need it to break your, um, you need it to break in your cheese. It, uh, the, the one that's in the pan is already thickened, so this milk has to come into it. If you have evaporated milk, use it. Cream cheese, use it. You, you can do any cheese you want. Cream cheese, cheddar cheese, uh, American cheese slices. You guys, we use three American cheese slices because that's what we had in the house. We didn't. We wanted to go live, but we didn't want to have to go get the stuff from the store. So we went live with what we had. And I knew I could make it work because because I know what I can do. Um, oh, did you see that man? He's got the high blood pressure. He's walking down the street with a whole... Um, I don't know. Do you need to help him or something? Yeah. Oh, my. I just don't know about that. You guys, and if you like jalapenos, you can put fresh ones. I have serrano and a jalapeno, but I'm planning to use it for, I'm going to make Joe some chile. So that's kind of what I was saving my jalapenos for. Um, I'm going to put this on low and stick it in the back. And I'm going to give it a little kiss goodbye. That's my kiss to them. See that? That's my kiss to him. Mwah! There you go. Bring in this back up front. You guys, why are you going to go give the money to Velveeta? That cheese that we put in was literally two, three dollars for that packet of cheese. Huge packet. God, you, you guys, Sorry. that's, well, that's a different one. But how much do we use for this? Like yeah. a bag, a two cup bag, I would say, which is 222. Yeah, maybe. 222 for your bag of cheese. So why are you, I mean, I paid five or six dollars for my bag, but we're not using the whole bag. We're That's using cheese this. Too. Yep. Okay, I'm putting some garlic in my carne. So right now it's bland chicken that was in a pressure cooker. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not seasoned with anything. I don't want to put any oil because, not, not, not that I have a problem with it by all means, y'all know me. I don't have a problem with it. But... I have things that I can use. Um, I'm putting a little bit of garlic butter to give it a little bit of extra. Um, I'm, I kind of want to get a toast on it. That's what I'm trying to do right now, you guys. Oops, sorry. Did y'all fall? Okay, got to turn my heat up. And if I wanted, this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Um, that's what I want to show you guys, actually. This can go in a large bowl, a bag of chips, and you take it to your girlfriend's house and you're having... A queso dip with everything. You fry some ground beef, some chorizo, throw it on there. I could grab this chicken and throw it in there. I want you guys to see that it is two separate components. This is a queso dip. This is chicken seasoned for flautas, tacos, torta, anything you want to use with this. You don't have to use uh, this in there and that in here. These are two different components. We're just going to put them together on a pan, or I'm sorry, on the chips as one component. Does that make sense? I hope so. We're going to put it out separately, but they're going together. Yes. Daddy, did you buy the other chili butter? Yeah. Good. Okay, could you open that for yep, me? Give it here. And I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to see if that's hot enough. If Joe wants a little more heat, I'll add a little bit more um cayenne in here versus the jalapeno if anybody knows the heat they're two different heats one's like a vinegar heat the other one is like a like a what babe there you go babe hold on oh my <laughs> you got the scissors oh you did it with the teeth no they were oh this is just chili powder guys okay I have a little onion powder in there and I have a little, um, this is cinnamon sugar, just so you know, for right. toast. This is just basically your taco pack seasoning. That's what I'm putting in here right now, you guys, because I don't want my chicken to taste like it has been in a pressure cooker. I want it to taste like it's been at my Wellita's house all day long. Really? 
Grateful. Grateful. How's it going, my mom? How you feeling today? Okay, guys. You can add anything you want to this right here. When that's done, I'm going to add a little cilantro to the end of it just to give it a one last flavor. I can make pico de gallo instead for my for what I'm going to do with it. I'm just choosing to to. Uh, we got tomato and onion and everything yeah. in the queso. Yeah. Every that, that's what I was going to tell Joe. If I make me and Joe were talking, should I make some queso? What's it called? Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo. And he's like, yeah, if you want to. And then he's like, well, wait a minute. I just put a little tomato sauce, you guys, because that's, to me, it gives it the completed taste like it's a packet. Like that, like a chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, a little salt, and a little tomato sauce. It tastes like, it tastes real. It tastes like a Mexican woman cooked it. Just kidding, you guys. Um, in here is jalapeno, tomato, onion, and I'm going to put a little cilantro. That's literally everything in a pico de gallo or salsa or whatever it's called. I just kept them in diced, in diced form. All right, baby, do you have the plates? I got a plate. Yeah, we're gonna do two separate ones or we're gonna do just one. Why? Good. Homegirl don't want to share. Uh, we'll make one after we get up. Oh, we always say that. Give me my own. You can have this one. Yeah. The floor. Shut up, Joe, shut up. <laughs> Shut up, I'm not gonna punch you, babe. Remember, don't add, I am only added a tiny bit of water because I didn't want to add oil. You can add oil if it, I just don't want it to start getting toasted. I don't want it to toast on the bottom of the pan. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I really like, uh, just I'm, shredded chicken. yeah, just shred it. Thank you, Joan, stop that. That's what I'm here for. I'm the, I'm the you can do with this with breast perfectly fine we only had leg quarters so guess what you know it she ain't gonna go buy it when i got it in my house i'm a very observant that's a good word i'm um i'm cautious about our spending you're not afraid you're just really careful <laughs> yeah i'm very careful i'm cautious let me just tell you me and, and grateful we're talking about that when you have your, 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 I don't want to say it. I, I mean, because I don't want it to sound like, ooh, poor me. So we've just talked about when you're set on a certain lifestyle and you have to wait, you know, for the next time. Well, you know, like from Friday to Friday, y'all get your, your income and stuff i have to make sure that destiny doesn't call or she needs something and I, I just gotta be ready and prepared i can't just think about us not while she's abroad i mean what if she said mom i gotta come home right now like i gotta be able to go buy a, a 1800 dollars ticket if that's what the cost is right now because they did say that the embassy will let the our, our daughter know if she needs to come home um just based on how everything is right now uh, worldwide so we can't count on anything but if our baby girl calls us we have to be ready at all times all right everybody i'm getting things cleared up maybe what are we gonna do with all this um chili pata i think i have one in here that says with what like that in here yeah. i had one that had chili powder and i put the cinnamon sugar in it uh, i know i'm so dumb huh? creating a new new flavor I washed it. You guys use, and we're using Monterey cheese and mixed with Colby cheese. Monterey and Colby. That's why it's not, um, um, that's why it's not orange. You can do cheddar. It'll be a cheddar dip. Ours is not because we did not use just cheddar, just Colby. And I'm, like I said, I mean, I can literally, I, if I were to grab that last two pieces of cheese, my husband would probably look at me like I just stole his best friend. Joe loves cheddar or cheese slices. See all the goodies in there, you guys? And <clears throat> let me just show you. That's hot. 
Okay, guys. Mm. Let's just say this is... Uh, can you get that blue tray from up there, babe? There's a blue tray in the far back. What? Blue tray? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? I'll look to the left. Left. Yep. Uh, You're like, how did you know this was in here? Right, Jeff? Oh, it's folks. Gotta go forward. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Just show. This is tailgating, so I'm trying to show what your presentation would be. Okay? Get the other one. Okay, put them here, Daddy, and we'll... <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just put them on. One side or whatever. No side's mine. <laughs> so you can set up... I mean, these are just what we're going to eat. We know how much we're going to eat. There's no sense in doing all of them if we know this is what we're going to eat. Okay, guys? See that? We could do more chips on that side. You can separate it put in between. Pita, peanut bacon. chips, bagel chips, put lime flavored chips. This is what we're doing. This is a cheese dip. Okay? Now we're gonna do, grab a, you wanna make a little bacon one or something just to show? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought we were making like our black bowl. Whatever you wanna do. We're gonna make a baby one because Joe had good ideas. You wanna go do the chicken on it? And then, oh no, cheese first, right? Yep, cheese Here. First. There you go. A spoon. You want me to get one for you? No, there's no rush. We can just take our time and get it. A good spoon. That's not a good spoon. That's a good spoon. Cheese right here, Joe. All right, never mind. I'll get a good spoon. Get a good spoon. <laughs> you guys, I lost track of them, not Joe. This is the ones that Joe did because he's perfect, and these are the ones that I did because I'm not so perfect. All right, cheese, glorious cheese. Glorious cheese. Do it gently, why do you have to be right. gross? It's not gross. Like, yeah. look, grab your cheese and chunks because you want that on there because that's what, You just. and then. Why don't you just do it? I'm not saying that, I'm saying <laughs> make it look pretty. You're just like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what it takes, honey. You're gonna use your a uh, fork or tongs for the chicken? <laughs> okay. No, oh, what are you gonna do? Just my fingers. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I know somebody else who used their fingers. It didn't go well on the internet. Remember I was telling you? Is yeah. she holding noodles with her fingers? <laughs> I mean, if y'all are vegetarian, just do the meat. Just do the cheese over your chips. You don't have to do the chicken. We are doing a little bit extra because we is, Joe. Because we is extra. That's right. Uh, there we go. Chicken. And because we Chicago. are, we would and we are, this is the most basic in uh, nachos, okay guys? Nachos that are basic. There's picoso, but if we want more picoso, we can put jalapenos. Avocado sour cream. I would put sour cream on my nachos anyways. Okay? Joe, you want to bring a nacho? I mean, a jalapeno? Yeah. That's what I'm I know. I didn't want to put this on if you're... Right. Ooh, so pretty. Nacho... Nacho cheese. Nacho, nacho. You can use this as a dip, but obviously Joe and I aren't gonna have that as our dinner. But this was your guys' one more thing of a appetizer tailgating take to a party favor. This and your chips. Woo woo! Is that enough, babe? One more. Okay. There you go. We had a little bit of shredded lettuce, so I'm gonna stick a little bit of that. You don't have to, these are extra. This is, I wanted the most basic nachos. That's why we did just the cheese and that. This is just because I have it done. So instead of just dumping it, I might as well throw it on. A little bit of onion. Okay, guys. You can do just cheese, do cheese and chicken. 
do cheese, chicken, jalapenos, or sour just the cream, chips and avocado. Cheese that you made. Yeah, just chips and cheese. Don't even put the meat on just it. The yeah, just you can put it on there or you can dip it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Everybody's probably like, man, we've been calling you for the last 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do a drink. You guys, how long did that take though? Like five minutes. Five minutes to make it, you guys. It was like, make a, a cheese sauce. Why are we gonna buy it? Don't give Velveeta your goddamn money. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do this. Ooh, look at how good. Oh wait, cilantro. Oh, we'll just do this. There it is. Ooh, ooh. Oops. There it is. Tink, tink. Yo, oh yeah, I didn't do it. Tink. 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 Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I think it would be good without the chicken. Because uh, there's enough flavor in the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. The tomatoes are still kind of punk, um perky or whatever that word is crunchy Pr plump yeah. it's pretty good very good would you pay it's, for it hell yeah mm. if i got this at the restaurant it'd be better than any chicken um what do they call it? uh chicken uh chicken chips and cheese with chicken mm-hmm Fajita chicken Remember, or whatever. They, they, they're, they're chicken that they get at the restaurants usually come in a bag they're already chunked up they've been frozen Oh, this is the real and shit. And you have to remember, they're restaurants, guys. We owned a food truck. People can't buy mass quantity. They can't tailor and use. If they did all this with one per every person, they're probably going to lose money because it takes yeah. so much time to do it. Once in a while, they find a good hole in the wall that they actually have home-cooked food. <clears throat> but for them, it's cheaper to buy the squirted out cheese nacho cheese sauce. Why you eat that when you can have good quality food and you made it at home? Imagine you have your kids are having a sleepover and you're gonna have, all you have to buy are the chips. And yeah. you're gonna make the cheese sauce. All the kids come upstairs and do their own nacho bar. And all you had to buy was one thing, the yeah. chips. Mostly, when we go to the restaurants, and we go to the Mexican restaurants, unless it's like super, super expensive, any regular restaurant, Mexican restaurant, they got 55 gallon drum cheese, they got, you know, they got chicken out of bags, and that's what they you know, they make your nachos out of. You know, it's not chicken yeah. that they cooked down and shredded and cheese that they made with a bechamel. And, and if you guys like breast meat, then by all means, use breast meat. Yeah, we uh, yeah we use thighs and uh, drums. Because once you season it, honestly, I think thighs have better flavor. But breast meat, some people literally will only eat breast meat. We're making chicken nuggets with you guys. The little baby nuggies. Yeah. Okay, we're doing double eggs. D double egg bar and Polish roses. Tomorrow, I believe. Did they, did they say that they tomorrow. knew what Polish roses were? Yesterday, when you asked them? Nobody has said. Do you guys know what Polish roses yeah. are? Do you guys know what Polish roses are? Yeah, we, that's, I've, I love, we were brought up on frying our tortilla, for our taco shells. We're going to do the chalupas again. If you guys want to do them this weekend, hey, we got some chicken we got to use. Babe, should we try the chalupas again? Because now we got more oil. Yeah, chalupas. If anybody is a health person, turn away. Turn away. Special oil. We're ready, guys. We're ready for the tailgating. It's vegetable. Doesn't matter. It's People a, freak it's out. from a vegetable. People give me mean emails and texts and tell me, how dare you? It's like, how dare me watch shit? No vegetables were hurt. I don't go to your making, channel. Making of that oil. I don't go to your channel and say, how dare you eat healthy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm, one more. That cream sauce is good. One more. I know. All right, we're out of here, guys. Be, um, you guys, pico de gallo, guacamole, salsa. Those are all things I figure everybody knows, so why do them? Yeah, you do. Bad medicine. Are you from the Midwest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Joe thought about getting the turkey cooker out and start frying them in there. I mean, I mean, it's tailgating shit. It's only on. Yeah. It's a season. Yeah, if I, yeah, if it's tailgating, I, that, I use that big old turkey fryer. <clears throat> we're gonna do. I don't want to say it like this, but we're gonna do a lot of apps, a lot of treats, a lot of fun food because this is this is our jam. We cook the full southern cooking, all that meatloaf chicken dumplings we cook all that but our jam is like apps oh yeah love it love it love, love, love it i look for ones and oh i'm making pizza rubs and we're gonna make onion petals not the onion petals you guys think i have a different concept that i want the onion petals to, to eat, be only good apps mm -hmm. but joe's taking the shower and i stick my head in there and i'm like hey what do you think about this and instead of it doing like this i'm gonna cut it in half and it's gonna be like this and he's like uh yeah that's fine then I come back, and then I'm like, I'm going to make these um, meatballs, meatball sliders. I can't tell you guys all of the stuff, but we're making meatball sliders, too. Those meatball sliders are a little... It's my invention. I didn't see it, but I want to make them, and I'm making it the way I saw it. Nope, I've grown up eating all kinds of foods from around the world. My dad called us skinny pigs when my mom, the new cookbooks. Now she's... Now she scoots over and I make all kinds of weird things. I love it. I'm telling you, once I start cooking tonight, then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna, okay, I wanna make walking pockets. I wanna do the, that, because I want it to be tailgatey. Oh, so gonna I'm, make, we're gonna make chips and everything too. So I'm trying to figure out, oh, bagel chips we're gonna make with our spinach bagel artichoke chips. dip. So we're doing those two, bagel chips and spinach artichoke dip on the same night so that they can be eaten we're together. Gonna potato chips for them. We're gonna make potato chips with French onion dip like you dip it um we're doing meatball sliders uh we're doing italian sliders um i'm trying to let think of all the things on our list you guys you wouldn't believe joe's it's ipad football season yes like we're killing it i mean i love it rumble. if you use a recipe sweet if you don't i do too girl girl yes and then when applebee's did half price at night shit for two dollars, two forty-nine, or two fifty-nine, all day long. Okay, so um, that's our plan, you guys. I want to get them. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad that. That looks good. Or that sounds good. Bad medicine. Mm, what you got? Uh, ham and cheese sliders. Mmm. Tasted in garlic butter. Mmm, that sounds good. I think I made those for the kids before. But I'm trying to, and then we're doing an Italian, like, an, like an Italian. Italian soap, but in Sliders. Oh, there's one that I want to do. It's a knot. It's my invention. Okay, understand this. You get like um, a breadstick, and I'm gonna cut them, but then I'm gonna cut little pieces of pepperoni, and like incorporate it into it, and then I'm gonna roll it out, and then I'm gonna tie a knot. Okay, so go with me on this, because I don't want a ball, because everybody can make a ball. I want to make a knot. So then we're gonna bake them. So inside of it, they're gonna have marinara to dip it in, but in the little pieces of pepperoni are gonna be intertwined in the dough. And then it's gonna have garlic butter over the top of it when it comes out. I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm just kind of just like thinking things, um, kind of trying to go so, but I want a couple of sweet ones. I'm gonna do um, a crack, strawberry, Strawberry pretzel crack. It's a salad. They call it a salad, but it's not. We it's a Midwestern thing too. We make it with pretzels and then like cream cheese and cool whip in the middle, and then strawberries or raspberries and jello on the top. But it's a different version of that and it's a salad. So it's gonna be the cool whip and all that with pieces of pecans, pretzel, and brown sugar, uh pre-leaned in the oven, and then you break it and then you uh, fold it into your your white cream dip and then dice drop. <clears throat> I'm telling you guys all the stuff. Y'all aren't going to come in because y'all are going to be like, bitch, I made it last night. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, guys. Let me take one more bite, then I can talk to you. Mm. That's good stuff, huh? These are good. Very good. Very good. Oh, you guys go. have a good night. It's Saturday night. Go f spend it with your family. Oh, I'm assuming my mom will calls her strawberry jello salad. It was jello in it too. Yeah, jello in the top part. After the cool whip, it's strawberries and jello on the very top. 
Yes. You got to make your your uh, cranberry. My cranberry uh, uh, feta, feta cheese, cheese salad. salad. Oh, there, I'll make God. that for somebody. It's a healthy salad. That's good. It, but I eat the whole damn bowl. And then the strawberry one. But too. it's a spinach or a spring mix, feta cheese, strawberries, or cranberries with red onion. And then you put like a, a raspberry vinaigrette or a poppy seed dressing over the top. I could eat that all, the whole bowl. I think I have before. I made the whole bowl and Joe goes, no, I'm not hungry. And I'm like, okay, no problem. <laughs> Shucks, sorry, babe. All right, let these people go. I love you guys. Jello Coolip cream cheese. Yes, baby girl. That is it. Bad medicine, that's it. I was like, I was thinking about different stuff. And then I said, got 12 in there. how come nobody knows? Do, do I do, are, do the recipes or doesn't everybody know them? And then my mom was like, I think some of those are like a Midwestern thing, like Wisconsin, Indiana, Ohio. I know we make Buckeyes. Do you, I mean, you guys probably don't know what Buckeyes are. It's like that, peanut that, butter. Your chicken tastes so Mexican-y. <laughs> That's because I'm Mexican, babe. Um, use muffin pans for small pizzas and pizza dough. See, girl, that's what I do. I start like, how can I make... Um, cause I started thinking like, I got a mini tart pan. I got to order from Amazon, a mini tart push thing because I'm trying to put finger food because we start watching games at noon, noon. So we start tailgating around 10 30 in Michigan. Like we get all up into the ESP game day on Saturday and we love Saturday, Sunday. So some of the stuff is kind of quiche like, well, so people are still having different cinnamons rolls and it's a whole like a it, it's like thanksgiving on football season is like friday saturday and sunday not monday monday we usually have like sliders french dips they're fun foods um when we lived in michigan not like the um like i make chili but I don't, I, there's so much yeah, I want to... Baseball wanted. games, we make caramel corn. Yep, we make caramel corn uh, the night before or that we wrap, morning. We make hot dogs and wrap them. We wrap them in foil. We do like a walking Fritos with the chili sauce. But then we also use the chili sauce for the hot dog. And then we have pickles, jalapenos to do like a whole hot dog. So when the, when the kids are getting ready to watch... We watch the Tigers all the time. We watch the Tigers game and we'd have all of our, you know, set up. And you'd watch a game and you come and grab some stuff. And then you go back and... I don't know. You guys, I just never grew up. I just never did. I like uh, I like that I married somebody who's just like me. We enjoy a good time. We enjoy gatherings, social gatherings. We enjoy like vacation times to just like hang out with family. Um, Joe was like a white guy that should have been Mexican because Mexican, they enjoy like family. The more, the merrier, the bring it on, the loudness. Well, that's just us. Joe is quiet. But he allows me to be with my family and to be with all of us. Mm, yep, we've done that before too. So I can get a few beers in me. Yeah, once Joe gets a couple beers, then he's like all over the place. But I mean, ah, Joe's so bad. <laughs> I mean, he knows that I've lost my dad and my brother, so he knows that it's very uh, therapeutic for me to be around my family. He, who, him? No. Uh, no. You must be talking about your husband, Bad Medicine. She said he's a great guy. Wait, the hell are you doing? <laughs> I look over at Joe, and Joe's got a whole heaping thing of brown from the, because we still have meat left over. And I look over, and Joe's. I had cheese on, too. Joe has his, his chip looks like that. <laughs> like, literally, there's not even any vegetables or cheese sauce. It's like that. <laughs> the cheese sauce was buried. <laughs> Aw, thank you, babe. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, the th that's the best part about Joe is that he knew that I lost my brother and I lost my dad, my brother at a young age, my dad, and that I had gone through uh, my first husband beating me up for like 10 years. And he literally knows that she needs extra love. She needs extra um, comfort. Um, so not even like, it's not even that I, it's about, I am clingy. I sometimes I just need to be left alone because I'm in like my, my downtime. I'm just need some time to think about my dad or yeah, that was my, I have one of the videos on my testimony 
Um, we were high school sweethearts, and then I married him because he said, if you love me, you won't go to college, even though I got accepted. So I stayed, and then I stayed just so he could kick my ass every day. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Joe's a good, good guy. You're right with that. He didn't have to support my, my our kids or me, and he doesn't have to let me be around my family. I mean, when I say we're around my family, because my brother's quiet like Joe, but my brother and my mom, like, we all have lost my dad. We miss him. We've lost my brother. So for us, for us to be around each other, it's uh, it's just very much like laughter and happiness. We talk about my dad. We talk about, we just talk about life and we just enjoy each other's company. And um, it's, I, I can't say it enough. There's not enough time in this world. Do not stay on an angry um, mindset with, with, whether it's me, if I'm a creator and, I'm, and you're not feeling me anymore, please, I'd rather you not stay because your time is valuable. And that's what I tried to tell you guys. If you guys are giving me 30 minutes or 45 minutes of your day, I gotta teach you something. I can't just go, okay, I, I just want you guys to hang out and if you guys can send me some money, that'd be great, a tip of $5 or $2. Why would you wanna come back? I mean, really, if y'all just came in, just to talk, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I wanna know that today they learned a cheese sauce. To, oh. Yesterday they learned um, to make, what did we make yesterday? Bad medicine. What did we make yesterday? What did we make yesterday? Uh, flautas. Yesterday you guys learned how to make flautas. The day before that, like I want you guys to learn how to make enchilada sauce and wet burritos and chicken cordon blues. And we're gonna make loaded potatoes this, this is week. For, hey, babe. So, this, yes. This is for bad medicine. Bad medicine. Um, which, uh, what? The, uh, Polish roses are ham, cream cheese, yes. But it's wrapped around an onion. A green onion. Or you can have a pickle. Or you can do pickles. Like dill pickles. Alright? Thinly, mm -hmm. you know, just little little short little gherkins or whatever. Or just sliced up regular pickles. But uh, it's uh, wrapped around an onion. So it looks like a little, like a rose, basically. But it's like a if this Polish rose is because your, it doesn't smell very good. It smells like onion. If this is your pickle, or this is your onion stock, you lay your ham out. And you put cream cheese, then you roll it. Yep. That is what that is. Oh man, I love onions. So that's um, we're gonna make the French uh, onion, onion dip sandwiches. Oh wow, yeah. Wow, that could be interesting. We're gonna make homemade potato chips, and we're gonna make um, homemade potato chips and French onion dip. What do you guys, put on an onion sandwich other than onions? Joe, that's so private. No. What do you mean? I want to know how to make one. I want to make one. Why would that be private? I'm joking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Show me your onions. Show me your onions. <laughs> You're so dumb. Show me the insides to your onion sandwich. You guys go spend time with your family. Joe stop, won't stop talking. Okay. Uh, mayo, mayo, onion, onion cheese, cheese, if you like. Ooh. Hey. Uh, grilled or is it Spanish fresh? or like, yeah? Is it sauteed onions like you cook them or is it fresh onions? Just sliced onions like raw. Raw dog, it baby. Oh my god. What? Talk about me being uh, nasty. Raw dog. Raw dog. Not me. I won't tell you. I'm like. What does it mean? Why did you say that? Grilled is better, but raw onions for me. Wow. We will have to try that. I'm, I'm going to try that. That sounds kind of very, very, very. Is it a Spanish onion? Um, Probably just Vidalia, something sweet. Mm. But you can grill them, or you can do them raw. I said. I grilled the whole sandwich. I'm doing it raw first, because that. Like grill on a on a gas grill, or grill like on a flat griddle. Probably like. Cooked. Any kind of onion, Joe. All right. Oh, girl. I don't even know if you're a grill or guy. Bad Anyways, I love onions <laughs> i love like i'll eat it just like a apple you know i'll eat a mustard sandwich or a mustard and cheese sandwich <laughs> commander i'm gonna punch you bitch she's a girl I'll never do that thing, actually. commander you're the one that tries to act innocent bitch Man, i fell asleep girl, I, fe I, uh, I fell asleep so early last night commander i was so sad i woke up 
and it was like four minutes ago our channel had just ended and I was like oh. but you had left before that your man calling you to the to come to bed Shit, commander who's acting all innocent now Bitch, you do yeah, not put scrambled. mustard on your scrambled <laughs> eggs. Bell, bell. Hell yeah. There's the Mexican restaurants in Michigan. I'm sure they do it here, yeah. And she says, hell yeah. <laughs> we have these onions that look like this. What, what are you, what are you Our onions look like this. And then these balls. <laughs> I know, bitch. You're like, yeah, he's calling me. I'm like, bitch, I know why he's calling you. These, and then this ball right here is big. And then you go like that. And then they put them on the griddle at Mexican restaurants. Shit. And you eat your taco with your onion and your jalapeno. Yeah, and then you have your a, red onion. Like a side dish. Just bite right into them. I'm telling you. Very um, good. We want to show you guys how to make them, but I feel like you guys wouldn't know what what we mean, like we're gonna grill our onion with our red onions. Oh, we're gonna make red onion, the the uh, hot pickled red onions. Oh yeah, she did hers on the gas grill. Oh yeah. She grills her onion sandwich. Oh, You're gonna make my husband go out there tonight and go make I his onions. <laughs> oh man, you guys are so cute. Can you guys believe how long me and Joe have been together? We've like, learn so much about each other any questions for me and joe as we reached our anniversary anybody any questions come on let's hear it we have three anything questions no wait one anything question <laughs> and three friendly questions or food questions how about food questions yeah food questions that's right if, if we know it we'll tell you if we don't know it we'll tell you that too Mmm, I do like tomato on my, I like tomato on my grilled cheese. She likes, yeah, tomato. You love tomato. I eat tomato on everything. And pickles. Pickles are worse, I think. What do you think I eat more, pickles or tomatoes? What's that? Toma what do you think I eat more, tomatoes or pickles? Pickles. But you know how I eat my fries? I get an order of fries. What do I do, babe? Uh, put ketchup, uh, put salt in your ketchup. I get a whole mound of ketchup, and then I put salt on the very top in no, the I've middle. I've never heard of grilled, uh, grilled, or I've heard of grilled cabbage, but I've never done it. I've seen a lot of people do that. I wanted to try it. Yeah. Like cabbage in a saute it, yeah. like that with bacon. Grilled. Salt and pepper, and, and ketchup. In, oh, oh salt, yeah, Joe does too. I don't do pepper that much. I'll do pepper with my fries. Yeah, sometimes. Joe puts pepper in his corn. He puts pepper in everything and it ruins it. Oh, uh, ma macaroni and cheese. Like I, I like homemade macaroni and cheese, but I like, um, believe it or not, I like Kraft because it just yeah. tastes so cheap. It's so good. Yeah, I won't put good. Uh, pepper in Kraft cheese. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I like it just the way it is. Yeah, you do. You no. put ketchup. I mean, you put black pepper in anything. Um, I'm trying to think. Do you guys want to learn how to make fideo? I was going to make fideo tonight instead. Oh, we make a good coleslaw. We make a very good coleslaw. Mine is like from a chef. Cabbage is the cauliflower. What? Cabbage? Cabbage is life. Cauliflower is life. And avocados are life. Oh, avocados. Girl! Do you know how many times I can't get... There's a girl I watch and every damn time that broad has an avocado it's like this big she cuts it she spins it and it's always every time i get from this to this to this one half is all black and gray and i can only use one piece of the half like not a whole half one little corner of it i mean let me tell you those damn our avocado was two dollars it was this, a good one no but you know oh. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, it was all nice and green yesterday. Two dollars for... Look at how little it was. It was two dollars. God, you guys don't even know. We... 
it pissed me off. I know this morning I woke up with Ooh, buyer sauerkraut on a dog. You guys, I woke up with buyer's remorse today because <laughs> we got so, like stuff to cook, and I was like, "What were we thinking? Why do we buy that stuff? Why do we need? We should have just bought a little thing of oil. We should have just gone without this. We should have." You guys, I had buyer's remorse on our stupid stuff. It was like I felt like an idiot, yeah, like an idiot. Toast, right? avocado Love toast. avocado toast. Mm. Hey, salty. Um, hey, salty. But I. Uh, so then you wait for it. Is that what you do? You you buy it green and then wait till it's soft or till it's firm, the right feeling. Because some people have said if you stick it in the fridge, it gets it and keeps it. Somebody else said if you you did, baby. We, I can make a quick one for you, baby girl. Come on, Joe. I'll make you a real quick plate. All right. Hold on, Salty. We're doing one last more. <laughs> the things we do for our subs. The love we have. I'm going to clear this up. It's coming, Salty. It's coming, Mama. Oh, yeah, the girls thought you had called them. Aww. They're looking up anything we... Trying to find anything we, we dropped. Because I said, come here. Yeah. Aww, Salty, I'm, my dog saw it. Because I said I'm coming. My dogs are like, what? You're coming. Okay, Salty, we're starting again. Anybody else that's coming in, we're going to make this again. Why? Uh, because we can. I don't mind it. Come here, girly girl. You know why, you guys? Because if we didn't have our subs, you guys, well, I mean, who would we be cooking for? Me and Joe were talking about that. Like, do we think we ever want to go to just uh, upload videos? Uh, you know, do we ever want to just do that? Just become an upload videos? And instead of doing live streams, we'll just upload videos once a week and uh, edit the videos or whatever it is. I don't know. We were just talking because we we're looking at like different cooking people and we're like, wow, they only upload once every 10 days. So they only do two yeah. uploads and they do no lives. It's just video uploads. And Joe's like, do you, you think we should do that instead of just do two recipes a month and there'll be uploads. But I was like, for me, I feel like uh, there's a family here now. Like, I feel like there's, I want to hear the progression in people's stories. I want to hear, like, I love getting Burke's bunch will send me a picture of her. There was a wedding picture. Like, for her to include me in her wedding, of her daughter's wedding or whatever it was, um, for for people to, she there's just different people that email me, and they send me different stuff about they had a baby shower or they had a gathering and and like literally I tear up because they included me with their 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 family and I just I, I don't know I don't know it's different for me you guys are like family to me and so not um I want it to be like I want to hear you guys go hey like commander she's like hey I made that breakfast uh breakfast what did you make commander breakfast quiche or a breakfast casserole french toast casserole and I love that she made the French toast casserole and then she can tell me how it turned out and if it worked and why it didn't work. And then I can tell her, oh no, dude, when you make it like that, make sure you cut your, your bread into pieces like this. Or, you know what I mean? Like, that's the whole point of having the relationship with you guys. That's why part of my membership, I, my members are gonna get like actual cooking lesson. I think I was talking to, who was I talking to? Was I talking to, nice to, talk to Pixie? I think I was talking to Pixie or... This is nice to talk to Aw, thank you. Um, I think I was talking to Pixie or to Rage and... And they were, we were talking about like... You know, we were just talking about the... What's it called? Um, that that's what we want to offer our, our members. We want to have that be like as a top tier. Because I don't think I'll ever do Patreon. It will be just members. And it'll be anything from like $2.99 like three or four of them, like I told you guys, like it's gonna be called uh, Tink Level, the girls, because of the baby girls, um, our dogs, but I don't wanna say the dogs. So I'm saying the girls, I'd pay for that. And then uh, the family. The family will probably be the top tier. Um, and it'll probably be like $9.99 or something. And then it'll be like 
one cooking lesson a month like a you know whether i don't care if it takes 30 minutes or 45 minutes if that's how long it's going to take us so that way if you're like oh my god i really wanted to learn how to make that pound cake and i'm just kind of nervous to tackle it myself or i want to make um you know if you can walk me through this or this like that's what i want to do i want to make the stuff that you guys are going i don't understand what does that mean by fold it in like i can help you like let's do it chips laid down we made those homemade and we're gonna do because i think it's important to have the chi the chicken on the top i am gonna do the cheese first I'm gonna get another. Joe's gonna be so mad because I keep getting so many, so many things dirty. If this ever gets too thick, you guys, add a little bit more milk to it. It can get thin again. Add a little bit more milk. It doesn't have to be like that. If you ever want it thinner, like um, what's the consistency? Put it in the strainer, pour it out because that's what you do with a vegetable. You kind of drain out the to get any of the thick thicker pieces out like grainier parts and then it's just real thin that went through the strainer okay i don't i'm not trying to do that i was trying to use it as a cheese sauce okay bechamel or cheese sauce then i'm going to get my chicken that's hot and i'm going to make a basic one you guys i'm not going to do all the little bit of this and this and this i'm doing the chicken and yes i could add the chicken in there but why keep that by itself we can use that later if we ever make eggs in the morning that's like a cheese sauce over my scrambled eggs come on y'all you can do red onion white onion we are doing our crema this is avocado cream that we use for our flautas and we're just gonna drizzle there you go honey come and eat just kidding <laughs> you know like when you call your kids to come and eat And then, you know, you, you like I said, put a dollop of sour cream in the middle. Do like, Show them the dogs, like that, you know, do anything you want. You know, imagine you have all the kids over and you know, your wife, your husband, kids, five, a bunch of people over, everybody gets their own. Show them the girls. They're waiting for their father to give them the okay. Go ahead. Joe has them trained like that, I don't. I'm just kind of like, oh, they're so cute, they can eat. There you go, going to give it to Joe. But I mean, if you don't want the jalapeno, don't put it. If you want just chips and cheese, just do chips and cheese. You don't have to do the chicken. If you're a vegetarian, just do, don't put the tomato and onion and the jalapenos in the cheese sauce. It'll be just cheese sauce. And I don't mean that if you're a vegetarian. I'm just saying, if you don't feel like all that other stuff, do just your bechamel then put your cheese in it your milk get their cheese sauce and just drizzle it if you want just jalapeno juice put some jalapeno juice in it too I, I, we don't have to do what i'm doing do what works in your home chicken put chicken breast we had thighs because thighs was on sale we bought a package of thighs we paid three dollars and 35 cents for five thighs okay we used three of them the other night Oh, we used two of them the other day when we made flautas. We boned the rest of them today. Did you see if that Bell Bell was okay? Is Bell Bell? Yeah, she got stung by yellow jacket. Oh no, Bell Bell! Oh, go. Are you okay? Holy crap, that must hurt. Oh. Here, Daddy. You can put mud on them too. Oh, uh, you put mud on a bee sting to help it get the stinger out. We still have unseasoned. So if I want tomorrow, I can add mayo to this onion and celery and make a chicken salad i can grab pasta elbows or shells put mayo and put my chicken in it and i'll make like a chicken salad with the noodles in it you guys the, it, like five the three dollars and 31 cents for my chicken went flautas this chicken as a topping for my nachos and then tomorrow me and joe could have lunch and have some chicken salad uh for lunch I mean, you guys, I, I'll, all I want to do is help you guys, um, help you guys, um, and that's, that's, yeah, stretch your dollar. And that's what I want to do is if I make, I want to make my chili for you guys, but then I want to show you guys anything left over. We're going to make a cornbread chili 
it's a casserole. We make casseroles in the Midwest, you guys. So it's a, a cornbread casserole. It's like you make, it's not really chili, but it's chili. You, you brown your meat, you put some beans, you put some tomatoes, you put, you can put a taco packet, you can put whatever. Like you can put a taco packet if you wanna go in that direction of like a Tex-Mex. Cause then in your cornbread, we put cheese, jalapenos, and it's seasoned. And then you put it on the top of the, of the, of the bake. It's like a cornbread bake. All right, y'all, let me talk. What did Babel say? Uh, I gotta put my glasses on. I hope you guys like any of the stuff. I appreciate to, all of your help. Trying to put some tobacco on it. Oh no, I think mustard uh, too, right? Mustard? Thought mustard. I don't know about mustard. Oh honey. It's got a lot of acid in it. I don't know if I'd want that on it. Hmm. I don't know though. Um, but mud mud uh, helps it. To pull the stinger out. To pull the poison. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you guys, again, if you guys have any, Joe wants to do a, a, what are they called? Zucchini boat. But right now we're doing, um, right now we're doing, um, football stuff. That's the only reason we're not trying to do like dinners. We're doing, like this was actually to do a cheese dip to take to a, a party. We did the other ones. Oh my gosh. I think a yellow jacket is a wasp. Are they the same or are they two different things? They're bees. They hurt. <laughs> She's like, I don't know. They hurt like hell. Yeah, they can sting you over and over. Again. Oh, honey, go take care of it. Put ice on it to at least soothe, and it doesn't. It won't swell up because it's gonna swell up. Um, I want you guys to get some ice, a little ice cube too. Something, take something away that you at least have something. If, and I'm sorry for keeping you as late as I'm keeping you guys tonight. But if there's something that you guys want to cook, send me an email. Like, hey, even if it's not like. Well, somebody said, I want to learn how to make chalupas. Do you make chalupas? I was like, we'll make chalupas. We researched it. And we're like, yeah, let's do it. Commander wants me to make a fried egg. And I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm literally trying to look for a fried egg. Not like a scotch egg. Because a scotch egg is a soft, it's already swelled. Yes, girl, go get something ice on it. Yeah, put that, if you're going to try the tobacco, try that. But it's and acid then, in there too. And then put the, no, there. Then just put uh, your, your ice cube on there, and it'll help oh, the swelling a little bit. But that poison in there is, is going to make it swell for a minute. Commander, do you mean like a scotch egg? No, I didn't, Susie. What kind of soup is that? I wonder if it went to my junk. I felt so bad for Milltown. Milltown was sending me... I think she sent me four emails. I felt so bad for her. And then I, we didn't reply to each other because I didn't know she did. Or I didn't have a number or an email or nothing. And then out of she sends me like a cash app and she's like, man, I've emailed you three times. Um, I don't know what else to do. And I felt so bad. I'm like, dude, you don't have to cash app me to tell me to check my whatever my, oh, I felt so bad for my little mill tone. I mean, I love my Milltown. I love her a lot. Um, uh, I'm blessed. I swear to you, I live by that. I gave it to God. I had had some bad instances that happened in um, when I last left my other creator. Um, the thing is about me is that I, I love very hard. I'm a loyal person. And if, if, you're, if you and me are, are friends, like I will go... I would go that extra mile. Like, literally, I would go to help Pixie. I know what state she's in. I don't. I know that she probably doesn't want to announce. But I told her I would go there to help her because she's trying to do some stuff. I would do that. Like, we are, we talk to each other. But I'm, like, after that happened in February, I literally put a guard up with everybody. Like, I don't trust anybody anymore. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to give it to God. I'm telling the Lord, for him, the people that come to my channel, for the relationships that I have with the people, a chicken fried egg. What? You scramble the egg and then fry it and then dip it in seasoned flour and took it to taste and fresh. Marissa, I promise I'm coming to your house too if I go over to Pixie. I come, I've, <laughs> I, I, there was like, we were going to Michigan. There were like three people that reached out to me that wanted to meet up with me between Texas and Michigan. And I, I feel like I don't want to say, 
Like, hey, let's let's all meet up, like a little meet and greet thing, because, like, I'm not that person. But I also feel bad. Like, I can't go to three different states to meet the people. Um, but so that's why I feel bad. Like, I really want to meet everybody that wants to meet. I just don't have a way to meet everybody because, like, I wouldn't go without Joe because I need somebody to take care of me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, I just don't want, I don't want somebody who wants, like Marissa. Marissa has been waiting for months for us to meet up. And I will meet my girl for sure. Till I don't care if it's the last breath I have. Mar this, my shenanigans, moot. That would be lovely. Bitch, when you talk like that. Last I talked to you, you were like walking out the door at 1 o'clock in the morning for a, a little smoke sesh. She's like, that would be lovely. I'm like, that ain't even my Marissa saying that would be lovely. <laughs> Marissa's like, literally 1 o'clock in the morning to go in for smoke sesh. Those are the kind of friends I have. Ones that are just chill. Like, I don't, I don't like, not that I don't like. I, that's wrong to say. I love that my peoples that I surround myself with now. Why, cabron? There's nothing. Yeah. Cállate. How long has that been on? For two hours at least, no more. Holy months. moly. Um, I like the people. <laughs> I'm high right now. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, I love that the people that I surround myself with are like chill chill like that i can't handle people that are got so much like um that's i that i just don't like drama like literally i've stayed off of off of the last couple of days i know so flow mama's like man i miss you holy shit you guys i don't know how, what channel you guys watch i probably didn't bring it up i was just gonna say the video i saw today i was crying i was laughing so hard i was dying if anybody knows um crimes in fashion this bitch is comedy like i spent two hours peeing my pants i i swear to you i was hell of a mess dead joe thought i was crazy i kept laughing so hard and then i'd rewind it and i'd play it again and shit i was i saw this this morning that's the, I only see, I, me and Dis see each other on a couple of channels. Well, yeah, and I did see Commander earlier today. Now that I think about it, I saw Commander in, in another channel, um, another creator's channel. Anyways, I know I shouldn't even have brought up the creators. I don't, it's not that I don't want to push other creators. That is not why I don't bring it up, you guys. Please know that. I would never not bring up a creator because I don't want competition. Or I, I usually let one of my girlfriends wanted to drop her, her friend's channel in our chat which i didn't mind for a minute um but i just don't like the drama i don't want our channels we don't even say names on on our channel and now you can't I'm an say angel you commander, see don't the roll listen to mitten <laughs> <laughs> is that what commander said yeah, i think so i don't know marissa i think i'm an angel commander no she's not <laughs> let me just say my little command my little marissa was shit she's so funny she's so funny because it'll be like like somebody will be talking about me or whatever and i'm like dude i don't care I, I really don't care what people are saying about me like literally i got my husband i got my kids don't care and she's like fuck that man we're going out there i'm going over there right now and i'm gonna fucking go off on them i'm like marissa no you're not bitch you're crazy she's so funny like she's funny that girl is always ready to pop off always Marissa's like, no, fuck that. I'm going over there and I'm going to say something. This is the thing, you guys, and I'm going to tell you this about all the channels. If there's anybody that's talking about you and you think you're going to change their mind, they've already made up their mind to believe whatever the person is saying. If they're asking you about it, they've made up their mind to believe that other people. If they know you, like Commander, if somebody said, yeah, Minton was talking shit about you, Commander would know, like, Mitten is a good... I know she would never talk about me because I know that she's straight with me. I would hope Commander would anyway. But I know Marissa and I know Liz would know without a doubt. They would never find me ever talking about them. Ever. Because I don't do that. And that's the thing is if you have to defend yourself to somebody, you guys, they've already... You're, you're going to try to convince them of something that they already believe. Hey, Milltown... 
Um, and that's honestly, that's I had that's the thing that I had to like with the situation that happened in the in like the few months back. They were like, "How do you not go on your live and just you know defend her?" Blah, blah, blah. And I go, "You know why? Because it doesn't matter." Like, like this is my phone, you guys. Wow, they're talking shit. Wow, they're talking shit. Then I do this, and see that little swipe? I swiped it up. That closed the app out. Grab this, and I do this. Don't give a shit. I put it down. Doesn't matter. If they're talking about me, why do I care? Like, really, that's the one I care about. My husband, my dogs, my daughter, and my son. I've got good girlfriends that know without a doubt that I would never talk about them. I don't even have to talk to Liz every day. We do talk to each other a lot, but she knows I would never speak on her, ever. Marissa, shit, we go sometimes like, hey, what's up, girl, you good? Yeah, I'm good, okay, cool. Like, my girlfriends know that they never have to question my loyalty, and I never have to question their loyalty. That's what you guys need to find around you guys. Good night, Belle Bell. Prayers for you, honey. I'm praying for you, girl. I'm sorry. I put sour cream on it. What? Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> put sour cream on it. Why? Don't don't do that. <laughs> ah, Commander, I love you. She goes, if I, someone said that a man was talking shit about you, she'd go, yeah, so what? She talks shit to my face. <laughs> you guys, that's the best thing is like, don't don't invest so much in, in these people online. Really, I'm, I'm, that's like the most important, like I can stress with you. Don't invest so, unless like for me, if, if anything were to happen, hey mom, for, for, no, I mean, if they tell you that I talked about you, then never come back to my channel. I'm straight. Like, I, I mean, I'll be sad if I never saw you again, but I'm not, I, I would never go, she's over here. I would, I mean, nobody should be able to affect you like that. I mean, really, I would think that the friendship I made with Marissa and Liz, Pixie, um, Commander, I mean, even me and Commander are, good friends but not we we are still very youtube but i would think that commander would be like yo did you say this about me because i feel like it's something like it's easy to say to people they don't have crippling social disorder what is a crippling social disorder I live by it's not my business what people say or think about me unless I need to hear that my actions are hurting someone. I agree with that, Salty. I love you. I agree with that. And and you know what? The thing is that I know that I'm a very loud person. I know I'm a very like, like, thank you, baby. Do I have a water somewhere? I know that I'm a very loud person and I'm not for everybody. Um, if you, if I, I could very easily not be your cup of tea and I'm okay with that. Like if you're not probably, I'm probably not a lot of people's cup of tea. No water. What do you want? You water. Want water. You want your phone? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Oh, um, I gotta do some drawing anyways too. Ooh, come on with those drawings. Uh, that's just it. You guys, you're never, <laughs> no, he's not. Joe's so sweet. Joe knows that if you don't wait on me, I'll be like, yo, bitch, get your shit and get out. <laughs> get your shit and get out. No, that hurts. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Um, but you guys, honestly, the people I went, I want Joe's recipe for the horchata moonshine. Dang, that sounds good, Dis. Or chata moonshine. You wouldn't believe down here in the south, every damn neighbor comes over and they're like, they go to Joe, hey, I got some moonshine. And I'm like, first of all, why don't you offer it to the to the Mexican girl? You offer it to him, but I'm like, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Run from Belize. Yeah, there's a yeah, there's a, a guy that goes on a lot of cruises by us, and he comes back with bottles of rum from every country he goes to. You gotta love the South, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm like, 
everybody makes moonshine down here. Everybody. I'm just like, how many, like, everybody's, everybody carries and everybody's got moonshine. I'm just saying. That's just what it is. Um, but anyways, you guys, honestly, I, I want to say that to you. If they're good friends of yours, like, not that I wouldn't be sad if I've read, if, if Commander was like, I can't stand it and I'm never going back to that channel again. I'd be sad. But, aw, thank you. I don't like it. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. I don't take compliments well, so thank you very much. Um, if there's somebody special, like, it would probably hurt me that Commander did because I really like Commander. But if she never came back, I would have to be okay with it. But just remember, guys, there's so many people online. Don't get so wrapped up in people's drama because, man, there's so many headaches out there. Uh, me too. This, me too. That's what I'm saying. Like, we got to know each other. Like, our, we have, like, a little group of friends that, like, everybody adds their own spice to our little group. And, like, you're in Oklahoma? Shut the front door. Your cousin makes it. That's cool. I mean, I think that's what it is, is that, like, even though we're all different, we all, like, like, I love Pixie. Like, some of us have, like, mine and Pixie's story is kind of similar. We are both, like, without our kids. So we have things we relate to. Whatever, Commander. She's like, oh, really? <laughs> well, you just, but that's what I want to tell you guys is reserve your heart for people that really affect you. Like me cooking, I hope that I have a, a good vibe to you. But if I decided to, like, tomorrow I'm going to start doing drama. I'm not going to do cooking anymore. I probably would lose a good chunk of my people because I probably lose my damn mind, to be honest with you. Um, but, like, do what works for you. You know what I mean? Like, if you enjoy coming, when you stop enjoying coming here, then don't come anymore. Because I don't want you to be sad. I don't want it to be a weight anymore. I don't want you to come here and be like, God, she used to be so, like, she used to cook good. Now she just bitches all the time or whatever it is. <laughs> Commander, you're so silly. Me and Des love you. You're our little friend, Commander. You guys look at, look at my precious little baby. She wants me to give her one of these. She's so precious. I love you. 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 Nova. I love you. Good girl. She did it. She did it, you guys. She did it. Hold on, I gotta give her a carrot. Where's your carrot, mama? Oh my God, Joe, all of these waters are not cold. They're all warm, daddy. I need ice, daddy. Oh yeah, yeah. I missed it, you guys. Hold on. I give my dog Z's. She's doing it now that you have carrots. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. She does, dude. Say it. I love you. <laughs> so they, they gotta do it three times because that's I love you. Baby, you know the words. Nope. Three. <laughs> Do you hear the difference? Bailey does it only twice. She just says, I love you. Nova says, when they're sleeping, you guys, they're like sleeping on the, on the couch or whatever. And I'll go by them and I'll go, 
and they literally go from sleeping to waking up. Full-blown dogs wake up and they do it to me. Who needs kids? I'm just kidding, I missed mine. Was not just crying last night about my damn kids? Yes, I was. Carrots are good for dogs. Potatoes are good for your dogs. She does say it. It does. Bad medicine, they do say I love you, girl. You're a good girl. I'm in love. Oh, oh, another thing is, sorry, you guys. My daughter hates when I talk to her on the phone. I share my screen with her. And I show her all the photos that I have or whatever. My daughter thinks I'm crazy. She's like, Mom, you need a hobby. Okay, watch. When my dog, look at, there's Novi. I don't have nothing. Okay, come over here. Come over here. Lay down, sit. My dog pets my, licks my arm when I'm crying, like if she's on the other side of the room or they're on the bed, and I start going, <laughs> Isn't that so cute, you guys? I don't know how she learned it. I was, um, I think I was said, I started saying like, oh, Nova won't come by me. Like, cause I tried to call her and she wouldn't come. And then I realized when I was going like that, she like walked over to me and she started licking my face and licking me and I was like, oh, Joe, I found out how to get my dog to listen, but oh well. Bad medicine, you are telling me? I, my dog is coming to heaven with me. Huh, mama, you're coming to heaven with mommy. Can you guys do some lesson planning with me, please, since I have you guys here? Okay, since you guys are here, Let's talk. Where's all my paper? For the love of Jesus. Como la chingada tu madre pincha cabrón. Commander, cover your ears. You're too young to be listening to that. Um, what do you have to write on this? Lord have mercy. Nobody, can you sit down, love? Just sit down, please. Okay, mama loves you. She doesn't want to get mad at you. Please. Why is, what does Joe have on this thing? Oh, Lord, I think it's cheese sauce. Okay, guys, let's talk. Tomorrow. Are we thinking taking off tomorrow? Or do you guys want something tomorrow? I need to know. Sorry, I don't want to eat them. Hmm. Um, are we taking tomorrow off or do you guys want something tomorrow? And tomorrow you guys want, we can do fideo. You guys want fideo? Commander's like, bitch, I know how to make fideo, bitch. I don't need you to help me. <laughs> teaching, I'm not really teaching Commander anything. Commander's like my, my assist. She's like my, uh, she's like my, um, what's it called? Commander's like my, um, if your two German shepherds want treats, they will, they will hear you. They will herd you to the cabinet where they are kept or the snacks. Uh, when, nope, when Bailey wants her, like say this is her dish. Here's Bailey's dish. Bailey goes like this. She goes, and we kind of look at it, and she goes, and we look at it, and she goes, and she moves it, so we look at it, and she'll do it till we get up and look at once with Once they're fed, they're kept like that, right there. And then we flip it over. She taps it, taps it. She moves it all the way over here to where the kitchen table is. She moves it all the way to where we are till we fill it with food. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. <laughs> You're here for the drama. We need more drama, Joe. You and and you and Joe are the only are the only um you and Joe are the only um 
drama going on. Faith, thank you very much. I appreciate the blessing that you sent us. You guys, if you are able to bless us with a Cash App, PayPal, or Zelle, or Venmo, we have we would greatly appreciate it. And Faith, thank you very, very much. Um, any little bit and everything helps us unbelievably. Joe needs to take a rolling, a rolling pin to the head. Then you scream, don't put hands on <laughs> We don't want that. I mean, I don't think Bailey, I don't even think Nova knows to attack people. Like, our dogs don't know. I don't want to Our dogs just don't do stuff like that. Like, they don't really know. I think I tried doing that to Joe. Like, I was acting like I was hitting him. And then our dog was just kind of like, like licking me. Like I'm acting like I'm hitting Joe and the dog's licking me in my hand. And it's like, uh, Joe, the dog's licking my hand. So either the dogs want me to hit you or the dogs don't get that you're in need of help. But anyways, thank you, Commander, for dropping that. I appreciate it very, very much. You'd be very surprised that they defend you in the morning. I, that's what Joe says too. Joe said they can feel the vibe. They can feel that someone is coming in or to do harm to me or they know that they can feel the, the intentions of somebody. So for them, they know that I'm just not coming in with negativeness. You know what I mean? So that, Joe said the same thing. He was he was taking for for fear. <laughs> wow, just that's a big old word. <laughs> no shit, that's funny. Well, that was funny because uh, we had neighbors that we told that we had like lot that we did lives and then um oh my god i can't believe i'm saying this then on um i don't want to hurt anybody's feelings we just we just got like an email or a text it was a text and they were like hey can we come over while you do your live and i'm like huh like I, first of all, when we're going live, our brains are like, like being on. We, we, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys realize that or not. It's a very, um, we're not, it's not that we're hiding anything. We just want to be on our best. We don't want you waiting. Have our pan ready. Have our glass ready. Have that pan ready to go. Have the stuff measured. Like we want to be on our best, on our, on our like ready to go. Like we, we don't want you guys waiting till we find the pot we need, waiting till we find the flour and measure it out. We know that your guys' time is valuable. So when you guys, um, yes, yes, bad medicine, that's a good way to say it. No distractions. And like even the dogs, we can't, we don't have time to be telling them, here, move, here, go over there. For us, we take this up very seriously. And I know some people don't, we do. We, it's by choice that we do. To us, it's a, it's a really serious, um, uh, yeah, we, really salty. We, we just need time to focus. I'm, I'm with my, I'm with my people right now. And if somebody's asking a question and then, you know, even if somebody's there in the room, like it's a distraction. So whether it's me asking Joe, Hey, can you grab me the whisk? We just move very comfortably with each other asking for a whisk can you grab me a spoon i need a glass hey can you grab that plate from up there and then all of a sudden there's like somebody in their kitchen and 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 it's just kind of like we just need and it's not that we're pretending but we don't have time it's almost like this is our set this is our set when we're recording you know like we prep things for a reason so that way when you guys are here that you're not going um is she ever gonna finish that sauce is she ever gonna finish that dip is she ever gonna finish making those tacos you guys are like i've got 35 minutes before i gotta get to bed or my kids are gonna be home from school or i've got to figure out i want her to show me how to make this and as it is and commander will tell you 
my brain is scatterbrained. I usually start off going, blah, 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 and then Commander comes in, and I'm like, Commander, blah, 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 and then I like, my brain goes out the window. And then we go back to doing this and this and this, and then Marissa comes in, and then I'm like, oh my God, Marissa's here. And then it's like, blah, 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 we go back to cooking. And then every time somebody comes in, it's like, squirrel. And then I'm back to cooking. And it's like, you know, like my brain just, I get excited to see you guys. You know what I mean? I'm like, hey, you guys are here. And oh my God, it's salty because I don't see a lot of you guys. Like I said earlier, I haven't seen you guys in a few days. I've seen, like, I don't even, even when I go to Charlotte's, I go, hey, how's it going? And then I'm gone. And then I'll, um, I'll I go into Best of Truth for a minute and then I'm gone. I don't really sit and go into a chat room and go, I mean, I think, I mean, and even when we do, like when I see Commander in a chat, she's there to socialize with them. She's there to talk to her creator. I'm not gonna sit and just keep talking to Commander the whole time. Um, I think it's disrespectful when there's a creator that's doing um, their stream. I mean, I know everybody talks to each other, but I'm not gonna keep distracting the same person. I'll talk to one, and I'll talk to Salty, and then I'll talk to Commander, then I'll talk to Marissa, I'll talk to different people. But if I have a full conversation, like Commander's there talking to five different people, why am I gonna keep taking up her, her attention? You know what I mean? And so I'm just like, oh, I'll talk to them when they come back to my channel, and then we'll catch up with everybody. I fully understand. I'm always telling a Cadillac of a dog to move, scoot over, get out of the front of the stove. Oh, God, it's unbelievable. Um, get off the fridge. They move your head out of the... I mean, the dogs barely move to begin with when I go into bed. Hey, Elle. We go into bed, and I'm like, Nova, scoot over. And she's just kind of like... And I'm like, scooch, like start pushing them. And I swear her little pit bull brain is just kind of like, if you want me to move, you're gonna have to move me. So I start like squishing her whole butt over and then she like stretches out in the, towards me. And I'm like, never mind. Joe, the dog won't let me in the bedroom, period. <laughs> I'm not even lying, you guys. Um, I think your neighbors just wanted yes because they said that yes they said that uh would you mind bringing over some when you're done i you guys i don't like being mean and i don't mean it to be mean i just they are the sweetest i just um i just um i just i, I mean i know you guys better than i know them i think because we've only talked minimally, you know what I mean? We've talked minimally and I, I protect myself. I don't know. I, it makes me nervous to be around people that I don't know. And maybe it's getting into my brain, the mindset of YouTube. You know what I mean? The mindset of YouTube is keep people at a distance. So then I meet people in real life and I'm like, uh, what are you really up to? Like, I don't know. Everybody is not who they say they are. You just never know, like with anybody. And honestly, I don't like being like that because I feel like if you put your guard up all the time, you'll never get to know good people. And that's why I do pray and I do ask the Lord, if they're not good people, remove them from my channel, remove them from my life. I like that I trust, like the people, like the people that come here are really good people. There's, uh, there's like, I think maybe only twice since I've been, Commander, how long have you been a mod? Since like February? I think Marissa and Liz were first mods back in December. And then like we started all the way like this. I think in all the time that we've had our channel, I think only twice has Commander had to say, um, hey, Mitten really doesn't like the those kind of topics being brought up here or something like that. They don't even bring them up. Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I truly believe that the Lord has been protecting and looking over our channel. Like, because, I mean, for, for somebody to say something, it's like, I mean, it's been so long, right? Oh, I mean, like, since you said something to somebody... I know he's a usually get in front of me. <laughs> Close it up and scratch it. They're like, oh, God. 
Oh, I didn't even think about that. If I scratch them, it makes them feel good. Salty, I'd feel awkward if people were here with me while I was doing a live now. Yeah, I do. I feel awkward. I feel really awkward. And I'm very laid back, but I just feel more awkward like like I'm cooking, like I'm trying to focus and I want to read Commander's question. And if Salty asks something, I can't do it because then I also want to be engaged with them. Like I want to also go, hey, are you good? Do you need anything? Or like, how's everything? Like I want to be, I want to be a good host. They're at my house. I want to be a good host. Like, I feel like that's what I am with you guys. I feel like I'm hosting you guys in. We're having a dinner party. You guys came to the house. We're, I'm still cooking. You guys, come on in. Come up to the table. That's what my told Joe was. That's what it feels like. With our cooking dinner party, I feel like these are the ones that are coming over for our dinner party. I'm making dinner. You guys are staying. We all tink together. Like, it feels like a family feel. Um, and, I mean, that's kind of when we're thinking about all of our... Um, if you're, if you're any, yeah, I agree, Al. I agree. <laughs> I know, Commander. I'm telling you, rebuke it in Jesus' name. I think dogs just do that. They just pop and squat. They have no plans to move unless they plan to move. Um, I, I Like I said, I only saw a troll come in. Um, I see what you can't was. It was a late night one, about 11 o'clock. We were doing something. I don't even know what we're making. Tragic and Commander, or Tragic and I see what you can't were my only mods. And there was like, um, like maybe five people, maybe seven. And then Commander, I mean, and then I See What You Can't, um, and Tragic were the mods. And Tragic wasn't really kind of paying attention. She was like, hey, guys, and then I think she might have left. I See What You Can't was the one where the troll came in and was saying stuff. And then we talked on Telegram, and she's like, hey, I just want you to know I, um, I, um, gosh, I feel like I have hair there. I don't have hair. Anyways. She was like, I just, um, I, uh, I, uh, blocked somebody from your channel, which you guys don't have to tell me if the mods do it, the mods do it. If the mods feel like somebody's being disrespectful, they have, I think commanders and Marissa are managed, commander Marissa and Liz are, are managing mods. They like, I, I think that's all I have is from, from them is from managing mods. And the main reason is because I trust their judgment. Um, because when I was a mod on another channel, I always got second guessed. I don't care if somebody comes here every day and they give me a cash app. Every live, they give me a $5 cash app, a $10 cash app, every live. If you come in on a day and you start telling Marissa to, to like, go, go pick her ass or I, I'm good. If Marissa blocks you, Marissa blocks you. If Commander says, hey, Marissa, uh, what happened, blah, 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 blah. If Marissa has a reason, if Commander has a reason, I stand behind because I've been a mod where it was like, no, she's fine. No, they're fine. She's fine. It's like, it makes a, a, a mod's job very difficult because, I mean, obviously we have a smaller chat, but it, in Jesus' name, we're going to be up in the 200, 300 people and it's going to be a busy chat. And if I don't show my, my mods the respect now, you know what I mean? Like, why would, why would they be good to me if I'm not good to them? You know what I mean? If they're not going to, if they don't feel that I would have their back, then why would they have my back? You know what I mean? I feel like um, if they know, yeah, exactly. Yep. I, I just feel like there's, they, that, and it's not that I don't want their support, whether it be financial or they're subscribed, their view, they come and watch, they come in and enter. It's not that I don't want that, but, but I, I know the people that I have that are mods are level-headed i know that they don't do things out of spite i know that they do things to look out for me like somebody's saying hey don't uh somebody said hey did you know she's on the panel uh the crazy one in georgia do you know she's on a panel um and i didn't even have to catch it i saw commander's quest statement was 
um, hey, uh, if you wouldn't mind, or something like, we really don't talk about that on this channel. I had to actually go back and see what it was to see it. Hi, my Queen K. Bitch, you ain't ever late. We always have time for you. You know what was so funny? Um, we made nachos. We did um, a cheese sauce, and we put jalapenos, tomatoes. Let me just start over. We got butter and flour, melted it, fried it a little bit, threw some milk in it, and we turned it into like a little bit of a bechamel. Then we did cheese in it, Monterey, Colby Jack, whatever you have. We got diced tomatoes, diced jalapenos. We used pickle and diced onions. We threw it into the cheese sauce. Got that just hanging out. We had chicken that was shredded, seasoned it with onion powder, salt, chili powder, a little bit of tomato sauce, like one tablespoon of uh, tomato sauce, onion powder, garlic powder, and it was seasoned meat. Got some homemade chips, queen. We made them from corn tortillas, fried them, and then we did the uh, cheese sauce, and we put a little bit of chicken on top. But now, you know, if you want to make it as a, a queso dip, fry it, your hamburger meat, or put some chorizo. Take it to a, a, birth, a celebration, and you, all you have to do is pick up chips on your way there. Have it in the slow cooker. You made it. You didn't have to go buy anything. That's what I want for you guys. Don't buy it. Don't. Instead... Hey, I've got flour and I've got butter in there. Hey, you guys, I used two or three pieces of American slices. It's school. Everybody's got kids going back to school. Yes. If you have kids and you're going back to school, you probably have sli cheese slices in your fridge. Just grab your cheese slices, throw them into that sauce that you made. I made it the other day with you guys. Remember, you guys saw me drizzle the cheese on my, on my uh, flautas? Cheese sauce, I just made it from what we had here. I had two or three cheese slices. I didn't have, I hadn't had bought the shredded cheese or the block of cheese. All I had was three cheese slices in my fridge. I made a bechamel cheese butter sauce. I threw my three American slices and I grabbed some tomatoes that I had made diced tomatoes, like a can of diced tomatoes. I got a, my pickled jalapenos and I threw it in there. And I said, you know what? This is like freaking, Queso dip people buy, they put hamburger meat in it, chorizo in it, take it to a party, and it's just so much cheaper, you guys. I want you guys to be able to buy your kids that pair of shoes that they needed at the beginning of the school year, but you weren't able to buy it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love you, Commander. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so crazy. <laughs> I want you guys to take that vacation. Start putting away. If you guys normally spend 70 bucks on your groceries, drop it down to 50. Let's make your $50 go as far as we can go. Start buying $20 a week in your savings and you got $80 at the end of the month. Instead, we're going to start cooking homemade. They want cheese and, and they're having friends over. Don't buy the pizzas. Get a French loaf from Walmart. Slice it in half. Get a can of tomato sauce. Put it on the stove, garlic powder, onion powder, some oregano, some salt, a little bit of sugar. You guys, you don't need to buy a can of sauce. I don't care if it's only $2. Imagine that you do it. Stop doing it. <laughs> I'm going to the compound already. Commander, you're going to be there. Um, you know what I mean? They can do just pepperoni. They're, the kids are going to think, get a burrito shell. Get a burrito shell. There's 10 burrito shells in that packet your girlfriend your daughter has all of her cousins all the kids are sleeping over seven or eight girls are sleeping over you have that array that one marinara sauce put it in there let's just say that you have older people and they like chunks of onion chunks of tomato throw it in there get the diced tomato and onion if you have the little kids they want plain sauce just don't put all onion and garlic powder. Put oregano, salt, and put a little bit of parsley in it. I mean, put mozzarella on it and pepperoni the, or just cheese pizza. You just made 10 mini pizzas for what, $7? Your pack of tortillas is $2, and there's 10 tortillas in there. Your can of tomato sauce is $1.69, and it's enough tomato sauce. It's the big one. The smaller ones are 79 cents. 
you have the sauce and the tortillas for two dollars. Two fifty with the no, but what are you doing, Mama? <laughs> you guys, she's like this, and I think she's—I don't know what she's doing. And then I go, "What are you doing?" And all of a sudden, her eyes just go like this and look at me. She wouldn't move her arms or nothing. She just did her eyes. Um, you guys, cheese. A big one is five dollars. Obviously, five seventy-nine is different at every place but heb sells it for 579 or get a small bag for two or three dollars 222 for the two cup one and i think it's 379 for the four cup one your kids will love it that's you know what we did a lot of stuff at home because we we could have gone and done stuff we had a different life where we were able to do stuff Oh, and I lost you. I would have never guessed you have a turkey fryer. Um, it's underneath it. Um, we have this RV has one, two, three, four. We have four under slides where it's a step up in the back. We have compartments under there. And it's a step up in the front. We have compartments under there. And then in the front, we have like you lift open the door and it's another compartment. So we have the, the vent grill and a six seat patio table. But when we move the RV, we put all that stuff in here, but that sparks a slide. So that side of the wall comes up to about right here. So we only have room like right here to put like the bed, this table will flip upside down. But anyways, we have compartments. We have compartments and then up there, um, it's a little when we travel we have to really work at doing it um but i the only way i was going to be in an rv was if that refrigerator was going to be a full-size one you guys i missed everybody's comments and i'm trying to like not make it noticeable but i'm making it noticeable okay hold on joe took his phone we i don't like people to see me with my glasses let me see commander queen k I've never disrespected a wrench. I don't roll like that. I've been a mod in the whole community for a year and I've never rugged anybody. If I'm done, I ask who to take my wrench and move on. Yeah, and see, and I'm, that's how I was. If I'm like done with that channel, I just don't even come back. To me, it's just not even worth it. I just, like, um, like I what I did with my creators is I usually give my creators a wrench, like tragic, and I see what you can't. Um, because I feel like it's a it's just a respect thing. I know that they they have my best interest because they themselves are creators. So I assume that they're looking out for me. Um, and that's really why I drop so, the the link so much in other people's channel because I know what it's like as a creator. If somebody wants to be able to get a hold of me, I want to make sure they have my email. So that's why I make sure I do it on their channel. Um, I've met a few people in real life knowing them on social media. As some started acquaintance as well as became a dear friends oh that's great salty see i believe in that i believe that you can stay good friends with people you just have to be cautious till you get to know them i 100 percent believe that queen's my little friend that i met through my other friend but we, we we've watched movies and hung out together i love that i've like opened myself up to I don't want to, I'm just very, um, I'm hesitant, but I trust Queen because I've known her. I've known her for a few, quite a few months. We just now became very, um, very more personable with each other. And I mean, I, I, I care for her dearly. I mean, like the friendship has grown. We shared really intimate conversations that I don't really share kind of stuff that I've shared with certain friends and i felt very much compelled to open up with her which i appreciate that you guys i appreciate when i'm comfortable enough with another person that we can talk on on in person you know what l i try to do like try to make break it down into like how i can do it um at your place 
<laughs> I wish I could have my kids. Why do you have to start bringing that up, Elle? I'm all sad now. Oh my gosh. Just juice. That sounds good, though. I haven't had orange juice in so long. I love orange juice so much. I love it. Um, we have a place in Michigan, but our son and his son and my daughter-in-law live over there. We had a five-bedroom home when we were there in Michigan. And then um, we decided to, um, well, we decided to just downsize. So we traveled for a little bit. And then um, I love you too, queen. Um, you know what's so funny is that People like are so shocked that I'm friends with so many different people, um, like Queen K and Liz. They're like, it's hard to explain. When we do more talking about our personal life than YouTube life, that's what I like. I mean, I, I don't mind people that I know from YouTube, but I love that our friendship isn't based on YouTube. Like, give me the deeds, give me the dirties, give me all the gossip and the whatever. I love that we talk on stuff that are not, um, yeah, we, it was hard to downsize. Let me tell you, it was hard to downsize um, because I wanted to take everything with me. I wanted to take everything with me. Um, I didn't want to leave anything behind. And that's why the first RV was a little bit smaller like it was a little bit smaller and then we it was a queen size bed now it's a king size bed it had a stand up like corner shower now we have a full length two seat shower um it had one couch and then like a chase or chase whatever it's called it's like a like um a, i think it's called a chase and then a smaller like a love it was a smaller couch and then a smaller love seat we have two full-size couches and a recliner here. Um, yeah, that's what we do too. Um, and, and I love it that, um, like, we're, we're watching movies, me and Liz and, and Queen. And, I mean, then we talk some personal stuff. Then we talk about our life. We talk about maybe YouTube for about 10 minutes at most. Um I love that. I love, love, love that my friendship is valued from me as a person, not me and mama. Does that make sense? Like, I love Commander. I don't even know what Commander's real name is. But we've also had very intimate talks as Commander and me and mama. So I, that's why, even though I don't know Commander, like, super well, I've, I've, I've no... We've known we know each other on some personal level stuff, but even Commander is very standoffish. She doesn't really say her locations and and all of her stuff, which she shouldn't. She, I really, really, really appreciate that she shouldn't. Like Marissa's just not on YouTube that much. Commander's on YouTube a lot. In other, like she she's in a lot of like some of my girlfriends don't really come to uh youtube that much or even burke's bunch she doesn't even come i love that um like can you imagine if i had a mod that had like drama that was like people came here to find her people came to the channel to like rah, 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 and she's over here and did you know she's the i mean i think i had one person that said why are you friends with this person i know commander is all the hell over the place commander is everywhere i didn't even know she knew the people that i see her in their channels and the bitch even has damn wrenches over there and i'm like how does she know these people like commander is not i mean i don't I'm, i respect her all i care about is when she comes to my channel she's a bad bitch and she kicks out people who are disrespectful and i care that when i see her on our other channel that we go and chill at she's just i mean if i let's just say her name's susie when she's over there she's just a chill susie she's not like bad bitch i mean once in a while we get trolls that come into our that channel that we go to and we'll kind of make like we'll kind of play with them a little bit and tease the person a little bit but i love that she's like um 
I, I mean, I love that Commander's not messy. Like, she's everywhere, but not messy. I just, it would be crazy if she's, if I had people here going, look, bitch, blah, 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 blah. I'd be like, dude, who's all these people? Who's all these people that are hunting you down? I'm just kidding. Um, but I, I do. I like that. Um, I mean, I don't even know who are my mods. I think I have like three or four that are channels, like creators. Tragic. I see what you can't. I don't know. I think that might be it. I think that's it for um for people. And then <laughs> shut up, Commander. Um, and then like the the other ones are my my friends. Like I know all of their numbers. I can talk to Queen, Milltown. I talk to all of them actually. Um, I've t I think I changed in the last week or two. I took a couple of wrenches, not in a personal thing or any means, but I'm just not, I don't see you on my channel enough anymore. That's my first, not my first sign. That's what I look for. Are you supportive of me? And I don't mean financially. Do you support me? Do you make time to come to my channel? Even if you hit the replay, um, if you're not supporting me by visiting my channel, then more than likely you're not looking out for my best interest and it's nothing personal but that's just how me and joe view it and i never take a wrench without talking to joe because if ever i'm in the bathroom or outside and somebody goes hey you took my wrench uh, joe won't go what no i don't think so or i don't know what joe would say but he knows we talk about it if i take somebody's wrench i will say hey this person hasn't been on the channel that much um do you think i should what do you think i should do and he's like, I don't know, what do you think? And I'm like, well, she, I, I don't care that they're not active. I care more that I see you in other people's channels and then never come to my channel. Because then you're not supportive of me. Does that make sense? Yes, I, I agree. And that's why Burks was like, hey, I'm sorry I missed your life. I'm like, dude, you do not have to ap apologize. She, I mean, I appreciate she did, but she comes, I see her like at least three days a week. Or she comments on a video at least twice a week when she's not there. It's just if I if you don't if you don't see it as if you're in five other channels that are in the same community that I'm in, and it's just my channel that you don't come to, I and it's okay. I would just assume that you just don't find me um, a supporter. You don't want to. You don't find me uh, your palette anymore. Does that make sense? Like, if I go to all the channels and I have a wrench and then I go to Wispies and I go to all of them, but then I never go to Tragics. And Tragic sees me in Wispies and Charlottes and Earths and everywhere. I just never go to Tragics. Tragic, she may or may not. I think she, I don't even know what she would do. But I wouldn't expect her to to not take my wrench, because she'd be like, shit, bitch, I've never seen you ass. You quit coming around. Commander is not really kind once you get to know her. She comes across kind. She's got a little naughty side about her. She does the whole little cute, cute girl up front, and then she's all mischievous. And then you're like, oh my God, it's so cute when she's naughty that you don't even get mad because it's so cute that she's naughty. <laughs> and we don't mind it when she's naughty because it's just like, oh my God, it's so cute how she just told me off. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen her pop off. I mean, I see her like when trolls come in and other channels, she'll kind of play with them back and forth, but I've never seen her get mad at anybody. And Queen K's like that too, but that's what I love. My mods are all chill mode. Like they look like they're cool and they're friendly, like Queen, Liz, um, but I mean Liz and Queen, like they, they kind of been around. Like I was, I started modding. The, I first came on to this crom, crama scene from, um, from a creator that had a lot of hate. So I had about five or 600 people always. 
every live was that busy. And they were all usually... <laughs> um, they were like... Um, they were just... I, I just had to always be ready. Like if you're... If you say hey to somebody in the chat, all of a sudden, you have about a bunch of people. Your, your name's like in, in black. Like a bunch of them. Because there's so many people. Um, so... But then I had to start working. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> um, I, I, like, does that, does that make sense? Like, there's a lot of people that are like, um, I don't know. It's just very, like. Like, I just, I like that they're just, they're like badasses. I think they are anyways. I mean, some people may like mods that are super, super, super friendly. But I got like super friendly slash badasses. Like, they don't, they don't mess around. They're not going to be like, um, like, I don't want to say like butt hurt. They're not like that. They're more like, like, they're going to go, I'll, I'll play around and, you know, be Mr. Nice Guy for a minute. Be like, okay. Like, we had a new visitor. This is a good example. Commander's so sweet and nice and friendly. Blah, 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 whatever. She's a good girl. I love her to pieces. But then we had a new person that came in, and they were like, hey, Mitten. And the first thing that my mod did was, I love her so much. She went, she checked the channel, but she's not just going to check the channel and send me a message and be like, hey, Mitten. This person just started a, the channel today. What do you think? I'm not sure. Like, I don't even, like, Commander handled it. Like, she didn't even let me know or tell me or ask me or nothing. She goes, checks the channel. It got just started. So then she comes back and she addresses the person right away. And she goes, I see you just started your channel. Like, she just comes right out. She would give a damn if it's like, like, I'm not going to say I'd be, I mean, I kind of do that when I'm, when, when I'm do, modding for my creators, I, I'm like balls to the wall. I'm kind of like, um, somebody was like, oh, I'm friendly, I'm friendly, I'm happy, I'm happy. And I'm like, well, then take your happy ass out of here. Like, I don't mind going like, I don't mind doing that, but I'm not going to tell my mods to do that. Like, I, this is her on her own. She didn't even let me know that she went to check their channel. She didn't even let me know that it, the channel just started. She just handled it, which that's what I think is so badass, is that she's like, I don't need Mitten to tell me what to do. Like, I know what's up. And so she just said, okay, well, we haven't seen you before. I just want to know that you good. And if you good, we good. Blow, blah, damn it. You guys, I hate, hold, everybody hold on. Should I give this to Joe so I don't lose it? And I said, no, I'll just hold on to it. Oy. You guys, I lost the back of Joe's pen. See it? Damn it. What are the chances of that? I literally said I don't want to lose this. Do you have it? Oh, my God, you guys. I don't understand. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went on the shelf. I remembered. Pulling it out, guys. Okay, so. Now I can read your guys' questions. 
we used to have a house. It was fun. I loved it. We we'd do the sleepovers with the kids. The nieces and nephews would come and sleep over. My kids would have sleepovers. Our kids were really active in the Catholic or in the Catholic in their youth group. They were very, very, very active. Um, and then when our son, you did. Isn't Nanya so funny? I think she's cool. She's cool hand Luke kind of person. Um, we used to do the Friday night uh, panel, but I just, I really like my friends to have, um, I really like my friends having lives that don't, that aren't, aren't on, that aren't on YouTube. And I felt like them being in our, my chat was like taking them from spending time with their family. And I know that they don't mind, and I know that they don't, it doesn't, I, I know that they don't mind, but my heart felt sad. Like, I know that Commander and Marissa, like, Friday nights are their date nights, or Burke's Bunch. And I don't like people to feel like they're, 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 um, they're torn between coming or not. So, I do too, I like her a lot. What did Commander say? Is she fighting with people? <laughs> I want I mean I might go back to um to doing um I might go back to doing our Friday night panels if you guys want. And I know that they don't want to be like, you didn't do it, not because of me. No, I don't, not because of you, but I cared, I cared, uh, I care about your, your, um, I don't know. I care about like that you guys have a, your date night and I don't want you to have to worry about it. Maybe I'll do it later. Like I did at 10. Shit. How much later? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hold on. You guys, isn't that weird that I didn't even know that you have to, like, I didn't even know that YouTube was this. I thought YouTube was you come to YouTube and you look for a recipe, you look for a video, or you, that's it. I thought that's it. Like, even when Addison Ray was popular, I didn't even know about YouTube. Because that was like 2020. And I would just come and I was like, oh, I like that song. And then I left. Like, I... The only reason I knew about this channel was because um, I saw Emily D. Baker, and Emily D. Baker had um, Emily D. Baker had the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. I think it was that like June. I started like I put in there I think I put in there like that like Johnny Depp or Amber or I think I put Amber 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 Heard or something like that something like Amber Heard sucks or something like that I don't know and then all of a sudden I got um I got um Olivia might have somebody some creator was, was covering it and then I was like wow well then it kind of rolled right into the Dre and um, Dre and um, Vaughn and I knew Dre and Vaughn because I used to watch them from the uh, Foodie Friday to the Wacky Wednesday I used to watch them a long time ago when we had our home in 2017 and 18 i saw them so now it's like 1920 and i'm going oh my god like i knew him like i actually called in we used to be able to call in and she would talk to us and i i called in i talked to dre and i don't even know what the subject was but i called we called i was i spoke and then um I 
I didn't even know they had weird sides of YouTube. I honestly thought, oh my God, did I just like, no, not 1920, 1917, 19, wait, what? Holy shit, what did I say? I think I said 2017. I don't know what I said. I probably did say it. Um, and then I was like, I, I started watching it and then it just so happened that the creator that I used to watch or the creator I came in with had a, a big spiel on on um, on the Dre McCray thing. And then I, was, I started watching it from that person. And then I stayed watching it from that person because I thought it was funny. The, the, the comments I thought were funny. And then I didn't even realize that I was getting kind of like, like, and then it went to like September you know, obviously the June, July kind of just and pulled you in. And then it was, um, I got sucked in too. Yeah, dude, I'm, I know I'm with you. I got sucked in. And then, um, I love her so much. Love her. But then I, believe it or not, you guys, I used to watch back in 2015, 2016, Ridiculousness. They have a channel that they play their videos loop and they and they play loop the um smuggler um what's it called it's like um to catch a smuggler yes i'm a lame -o. i used to watch to catch a smuggler <laughs> jesus y'all i'm busting out all my secrets i used to watch to catch a smuggler and um ridiculousness i know what grown woman let me just tell you my son was 16, he was 17, he was graduating, and he would come home after football practice or from being over at the football player's house, and that was our thing. We would hang out and we'd watch it for a couple hours. Hilarious, Al. And when your 17-year-old son and you can sit in the living room and just crack up for hours, I mean, there's no words. Didn't matter that it was 11.30 at night and I was super tired. He had to be home by midnight, so sometimes he'd come at 11, 11.30, and I was like watching, and he'd come and sit in the living room, and we'd watch it together, and and we just had a great time watching Ridiculousness. I know, dude, it is very sad. It's really sad. Um, it was sad because I knew him. Like I knew them, him. I mean, she, when she would cook and she was, at the time that I watched, she was making empanadas. She got the dough from the refrigerated section and everybody always asked her, how do I find the dough? And she told him it's in the freezer section of the, the, the tortilla masa or the tortilla sheets. And she would say, you can put cheese in them. And then she deep fried it. She deep fried the quesadilla. And like, and then she made her um, ceviche all the time. And I think she didn't like avocado or she put avocado on the top. Something about the avocado always stood out. Um, but yeah, I used to watch her when she was over there. And then um, my dad and my brother passed away um, in the beginning of the year. So every holiday is kind of very hard for me because I know it's what's coming up. Does that make sense? I knew that January, February, March was coming up and I knew that it was gonna be hard. So every holiday season, like it reminds me of when I was hugging my dad, how sick he was. So I knew it was beyond tragic. Um, I knew that being in the, um, being into the, what's it called, was very important. Being um, a Patreon, because we were gonna have like girls and friends over there which they were so everybody was very very cordial and friendly in patreon but i mean if i would have known that you can become friends because you don't really trust people online but in patreon people give their names they give their phone numbers hey call me here's my number find me on facebook here's my name they're very 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 more open so that's back in september i started being a patreon over there September, October, November, December. And then I was like, I started my channel and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave so I could have my channel. Um, and it was just 
I didn't know anything about researching. I didn't, I don't, I'm 50, how do you not know? Trust me, clueless. I didn't even know you could put in, a, in the, the search up there, more creators. I had always just put ACDC or Back in Black or Motley Crue or Stevie Ray Vaughan or Santana. Like I thought YouTube only consisted of bands. And then my husband said, hey, I figured out blah, 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 on from YouTube how to RV, like how to like picking out this RV and the kind of RV we wanted. Didn't even know you could do that on YouTube. You can find different RVs on YouTube. I gotta see what Commander said. Commander, sometimes go back up blah, 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 one video. She is reading the Constitution. I passed out so fast, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, it's that weird side of YouTube. I didn't know. Then somebody said Earth was saying that there's you, there's knitting channels, and those bitches are feisty. I couldn't imagine a knitting bitch being feisty, but she said they are. There's a, the, and then somebody else I don't even know who it was was talking about the communities. They have communities like doll houses, communities for um, there's communities for everything. Who knew? Who knew this? Yes, Drew did. He dropped a motor in his in the car of his friends. He dropped a motor based off of YouTube. Who knows this though? Really? We need to develop a petty community. <laughs> yes, dude. Paranormal. I think. I used to follow somebody that was in the paranormal. Colin drops, Colin watches the, Colin the Colin that comes to our channels. He's from the paranormal community. Cause he's like, I'm going over to this channel. And then I go, I click on it. And I'm like, holy mother of God. Like the room is quiet. And they've got like little speakers set up everywhere. No, I don't play that. It scares me too much. Petty Central. Oh, I got a hand cramp. Look at it. It's cramped right now. Oh, that's why I use it too much. It gets all weird. Ah. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that hurt. I know. It, my hands get like that. I have RSD in my hands. Um, it's called reflex sympathetic dystrophy. My hands like swell up and they get needle pricks in and they're hot and blue. Anyways, um, all right, guys, I feel so bad I kept you guys here. I'm sorry. Watch the video. We made cheese sauce. Make it as a dip and take it. Stop by on your way to run into Target and grab yourself a, a Starbucks with the money you saved and grab a bag of chips to take to that person's house. Save yourself the money and use it on something you want. I mean, yeah, you can do something else with it, but shit, Starbucks. It's been a long time since I had Starbucks, too. Shit. I want you guys to have all these things. I really, really do. Live stream adventures. What's that? Is that IPL? I love you, queen. I miss you, mama. I go over to our, our Discord all the time, and I'm like, where are my friends at? One of us is planning a wedding, though. They don't have time for us, queen. But I miss her. I miss all of you guys. I <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no shit. We were going to be like, wow, it took her that long to make queso dip? <laughs> no, guys. Mitten did the Midwest. Somebody said that. Say, saying goodbye for a long time is considered a Midwestern goodbye. Whatever. It's because I have to make sure I say goodbye. Like, like what if I never see you again? That kind of goodbye. You guys, we never even decided. We're going to go not... See, I thought it was a Southern goodbye. I thought it was called a Southern goodbye. I'm glad you had a good time, Bad Medicine. This is your first time here, right? I 
I, somebody else said it was a Midwestern, too. I think it was Nanya. Nanya said that. The good Nanya. Tacos loco de coco. <laughs> I literally read it, dude. I read it slow and everything. You were in the bushes listening. Do you know how many people have said that? Um, just with in the last two weeks with everything that kind of happened, they were like, I can watch it. Um, yeah. Um, I, somebody just is like, I can watch you freely now. And I'm like, oh, it makes me sad. Like I'm happy, but I'm just glad. I, you know what? It makes me more sad that, um, I mean, I love that our subs, I just want people. And that's the main reason. Um, bad medicine that we don't want any I personally me and Joe don't want any conversations about creators because like what if it was a month ago two months ago and you still were following a different creator and then they were like bashing this creator in here then you would be like mm, I don't think I'll say anything or no I don't really feel comfortable about being here you know what I mean that's the thing is we don't know who's up in the bushes and if there's somebody in the bushes that if I started bashing even uh, MS that we don't talk about because I just, she gives me the heebie-jeebies. Um, if we even brought up her, then like, what if somebody really, really likes her? I don't want that person to feel like, oh my God, they're gonna make fun of me because I like that person. I don't even care if it was Lisa C that came in. Like nobody would be able to ask her any questions whether they like her or not like her because I when you come up here everybody comes in with the same blank play plain same blank robe everybody's walking in with just YouTube you're here with YouTube okay cool yep it's sad it's really sad that but even modding when I was modding um for somebody it was like you weren't allowed to go anywhere you weren't allowed to do anything because if they saw you then it would get sent back and it'd be twisted and that's why i started being like if you guys want me to like if somebody gives even three dollars or five dollars like i don't have to say the person's name i appreciate you sending it faith is um i'm blessed that faith even considers giving me two dollars you know what i mean so if Faith gives me something unless they say on the thing like to keep hi Chasey Boo you guys this is my nephew this is my beautiful nephew hi papas you have your football game starting I'm gonna go watch it me and Uncle Joe are gonna go watch you Chase Chase Commander you know you don't say it like that how do you always tell Chase hi I wish what? Oh, hello. Oh, that's cool. I like that bad medicine. That's understandable. <laughs> that's what Chase told me. He goes, that's pretty cool how Commander says that. Commander always says, Chase is in the house. <laughs> Salty, where are you at? If you don't mind me asking, are you in another state, another country? <laughs> the aftermath. Oh my God, you're by my daughter. Zolti, go and hug my daughter. She's in uh, Budapest, Hungary. It's laid there for you, isn't it? Aw, you're so sweet, Commander. Is it Austria or Australia? Oh my God, Salty, you badass bitch. Oh my God, I love you, you're in Australia. I love you. Eva's so proud of her, of her Aussie friend, Vinny, I love it. Me and Eva were talking in the chat one time, and um, I think we were in Susan, Georgia Beach, and uh, 
Sunday morning. Oh, my Lord. And uh, Vinny was going into a long drug out story. And then me and Eva were cracking up in the in the comment section. And Eva's like, I think he's, I mean, we, she's just, I love it. She was just saying like, um, every, like he, he, it seems like he goes on a rant, but he makes sense. You just got to listen to what he's saying. And so that's what Eva was saying is like, he's saying this and this, and he's saying this and, but it makes sense. He, and Eva's a, Eva was so supportive of him. Oh my God. It's Saturday night, 1030 and it's Sunday morning. Uh, my daughter's seven hours apart. How many hours are you? Oh my God, it's already 11.15, mama? Holy schnickies. Oh my God, that's almost 10 hours. Oh my God, that's more than 10 hours. If it's 11.15 and it's 10, oh my God. That's like 12 hours, isn't it? 12 hours, holy shit, thank you. <laughs> thank you, bad medicine. <laughs> She's like, bitch, you need help counting? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, apparently, I do need help counting. 12 hours. Okay, you guys. Shit, I can't help it. I don't know how to count. Oh, my word. So, right now, for my daughter, it's... Let me tell you. World clock. And our world clock... Is, we're so dumb. Our world clock has Budapest hours. I can't find it now. Why is it my? I have no idea where Joe hides. He might have deleted the app. It's five fifteen for my daughter right now, and this girl always calls me. Thirteen. <laughs> I don't know how I don't know how to count, bro. I really don't. Um, my daughter always calls me at seven or five in the morning, in the morning. And I'm like, yeah, I don't wanna say, do you have anybody else you can call? Cause that's really shitty of a mom. Like, honey, there's nobody else you can call. Like she's literally calling me. Wingin? What's a wingin? Where did you, Commander? You heard my cruise story? What did you think about that? I just hope my friend, my daughter's friend didn't hear that cruise story. I, <sighs> I was more hard. I was hard, hard, is that a word? Hard, that there were people that thought that they could talk to other people like that. Does that make sense? Like, they didn't bat an eyelash. She didn't bat an eyelash. Like, me and Joe were sitting in our little lounge chairs and we heard screaming. We heard screaming over there. And then we were like, me and Joe look at each other, we're like, and he goes, go look. So you have to go to the edge of the, the rail to look and see what floor. Because if we're on the fourth, you had to look up because it was the fifth floor that central ser stu uh, people services are. And so we'd go look and it's like, it's her, it's her. <sighs> Abort mission. Like we didn't want to be by the rail because then if they saw us, they'd be like, hey. So we're like, oh my God, people should, this is not just me, okay? It's not because they were Hispanic and I'm Hispanic and I was like, how dare you talk to us like that? No, it was because because my heart was so sad for them people. Like my heart was so sad that they, this is gonna sound shitty. 
it was so sad that they needed the money that they had to allow somebody to talk to them like that. Like it broke my heart that they needed the money so bad or the job that they were willing to let another human being degrade them. I, I just was crying. I said, I'm not gonna be with these people, Joe. Like, whatever you wanna do, but I'm not gonna be with these people. We say wing and wing, wing and wine. What is a wing? I, I nearly fell out of the bushes laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, y'all. Trying to fit through the doors, I almost fell out of the damn ship. I'm telling you, the um, the doors were this skinny, and then our rooms they were like that wide. We were like, "What? Hell yeah!" Um, we're excited, but I said all that to say, you guys, if ever there's a chance. Um, hi, yeah, 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 okay. Um, I gotta, I gotta get off because my son just emailed me and I gotta take care of something. So, anyways, I love all of you guys. You guys are very, very, very a blessing to me. If there's anything you're able to do, I appreciate it. If not, no worries. Um, yeah, I just, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta be a mom. Got to be a mom, and when things happen for my little kids, when things happen with my kids, it affects me. So until I just talk to them and make sure everything's okay, then I'll be okay. So um, it's nothing major, but I just know he needs to talk. So he needs somebody to talk to right now. I appreciate everybody hanging out. You guys are amazing people. I truly appreciate all of you guys. Um, if you're able to bless us, thank you. If not, it's respectful. Um, I just, if you guys could like it and share, I would appreciate that. Um, again, I appreciate all of you guys just being here, cooking with us, doing the cooking thing. Cause sometimes we go left and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get though. But you guys, sometimes I don't have everything I need and I appreciate you guys sticking with me. And like, even though it's not the right thing, you guys appreciate us cooking it. So I love you. Thank you so much, Bad Medicine. All of you guys, thank you, Commander, Queen K, everybody, my mods for taking the time to be here to help me. Um, and for all of everybody else that came in, thank you for coming and cooking with me. Thank you for being patient. You never know what you're going to get with us. Sometimes I'm like, like I try really hard to get everything that we need. And sometimes we're not able to get everything. Sometimes we have to get some of the things and other things we have to go without getting them. So my bad um but you guys are just so cool you guys just roll with it so thank you thank you thank you thank you for that um we're gonna get better and we're gonna do more food reviews and we're gonna do more stuff get my damn daughter back you will be doing a lot more all right y'all i love you all be blessed stay safe on the streets bye